You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Sleepover guest. Roar! Roar! Caillou and Leo were playing dinosaurs. Roar! 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 Did you like your brontosaurus pie? Roar! <laughs> All right, you two dinosaurs can go play now. But remember, Leo's being picked up soon. Can't Leo stay longer, please? <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's getting late. Bedtime soon. Roar! <laughs> can Leo sleep over? It's all right with me. What do you think? Sure. As long as it's okay with Leo's parents. Yay! Okay. Good night, Mommy. Good night, Daddy. I can stay! Yay! <laughs> It'll be like going camping, Leo. You could sleep right here beside Caillou. I like camping. Snug as a bug. Caillou thought that camping out on the floor looked like fun. I want to sleep in the sleeping bag. No, I like the sleeping bag. Leo's the guest, honey. He gets first pick. Roar! <laughs> Roar! <laughs> Here are some towels for you and a nice new toothbrush for Leo. I want a new toothbrush, too. Sorry, pal, we've only got one new one. Leo can use my toothbrush. Sharing toothbrushes isn't a good idea. Leo's the guest, and he gets the new toothbrush. Caillou thought it wasn't fair that his sleepover guest was getting all the special things. I want my tiger pajamas. You can borrow a pair of Caillou's pajamas for tonight. I always sleep in my tiger pajamas. I want to go home. Caillou was upset to see Leo sad. He wanted to make him feel better. You can have my dinosaur pajamas. That's very nice of you, Caillou. Are you going to be all right, Leo? Caillou and Leo had found a way to both wear the dinosaur pajamas. <laughs> hey, I like those wild PJs. Time for bed. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Leo. See you in the morning. Good night, Daddy. <laughs> now Caillou and Leo were both camping together. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Games in the Park. Okay. <laughs> Ready, Rosie? <laughs> Caillou could hardly wait because Miss Martin was taking him and his friends to the park. Hi, Caillou! Caillou! Hi, Leo! Hi, Clementine! Bye, Mommy! Me too! You'll see Caillou later, sweetie. Bye, Caillou! Bye, honey. All right, let's go. Bye! Here we are. 
Mara, Clementine, Xavier, Emma, Caillou, Leo. I have a new game for you. Caillou was curious and excited. Miss Martin's new games were always fun. I'm going to win. No, I'm going to win. Race ya. Try this! That was fun! <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. Come over here, please. Does anybody want to play a new game? Yeah! Me yeah. too! Yeah. Me too! Good. Today, we're going to play in teams. You're going to be on my team. We don't know the teams yet. That's a surprise. I'll pull the names out of here to choose the teams. Okay? Yes! yes. The first team will be Xavier and Emma. <laughs> Leo and Clementine. Caillou was disappointed that his best friend Leo was not on the same team. Mara and Caillou. We're going to have a beanbag race. Each team gets one beanbag. Clementine, Xavier. That will make a great starting line. Thanks, Leo. Thanks, Clementine. How do you play? Here's how the beanbag race works. You take turns with your teammate to carry it. And the first beanbag to come back to the finish line wins. I'm gonna win. We'll see. Mara, Clementine, and Emma, go wait at the tree over there. Once you get your beanbag from your partner, you race back. <laughs> <laughs> I can run fast. I can run faster. Okay, boys. Ready, steady, go. Caillou was concentrating so hard that he forgot to give Mara the beanbag. Wait, Caillou, wait! Caillou, come back! Hooray! I win! Caillou, you forgot me! Mara is right. So the winners are the yellow beanbag team, Clementine and Leo. We, we win! win. We, we win! win. Caillou felt bad that they had lost because of him. Let's race again! Sure. Caillou liked the idea he would get another chance to win. Yeah! And this time we'll win! Yeah! yeah. Look what I can do! That could be part of our next race. Any other ideas? We can push the beanbags down the slide. Good idea. So first, beanbags will go down the slide. Then the partner walks the rim of the sandbox and comes back to the finish line. Yay! Yay! Girls start this time. Boys, you go wait at the end of the slide. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> That's easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Come on, Caillou. It wasn't so easy after all. But Caillou was determined to do it. I did it. The green beanbag team comes in first. Emma and Xavier win this time. Caillou was proud to have crossed the sandbox. He didn't care about winning the race so much anymore. <laughs> 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 
You all did very well in the beanbag race. I have a surprise. I thought you might like beanbags of your own. Jelly beans! Jelly beans were definitely Caillou's favorite kind of bean. And he knew someone else who just loved them. <laughs> oh, she won. First, we have to race. I need your ball, and you go to your toy box, okay? Caillou wanted to show Rosie the new game he learned. You say go. Oh, okay. Go. <laughs> go give the ball to Mommy. <laughs> we win! <laughs> Our team wins! Yay! Some for you. And some for me. Some for you. Thank you. That was a fun race. Shall we do it again? We can't. Why not? <laughs> there are no more jelly beans to win. <laughs> the Sugar Shack. Jonas had invited Caillou's family for a visit at the ranch. Caillou liked the sound the sleigh bells made when the horses moved. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Look, there's a bucket on that tree. That's right. Let's go check it out. Whoa, whoa. Water? It looks like water, but it's sap from inside the maple tree. See? It comes out here. Caillou was surprised that something like that could come out of a tree. Want to taste some? Oh, is he too? We can make great things from sap. What things? All kinds of great treats, like maple syrup, maple sugar. Oh, Yay! and maple butter. <laughs> mm. First, we need to collect some sap. I want to help. Okay, partner. Can you carry this to the sleigh? Can I do it? Sure, go ahead. Great job. Let's bring the sap back to the sugar shack and turn it into maple goodies. Look at this. It's become maple syrup. Caillou couldn't believe it. All the watery maple sap was now thick maple syrup. Can I taste it? It's really too hot right now. Besides, I need to boil it longer for a surprise. I sure could use some help with this special table outside. Sure, I'll get right to it. Me too! Ozzy too! That's great, Caillou. We'll be done in no time. Nice and flat now. <laughs> Perfect. Stay back. This is very hot. Why are you pouring that on the snow? The snow cools it off. This is my favorite treat of all. It's maple toffee. Try this, partner. Mmm, this is the best maple toffee I've ever tasted. My turn! Ozzy, oh, too! Mmm! Mmm, yum! What a treat! Do you want some help there, Caillou? Caillou was determined to get the toffee by himself. He couldn't wait to taste it. Mmm, sticky! Winter Mystery. Bye, Caillou. Wait for me, Daddy. Caillou, <laughs> we're not done yet. Done. The strong wind had knocked the bird feeder down during the night. 
Daddy was fixing it. There we go. All fixed up. We can fill it. I can do it. Good job. The birds will love it. Where are they? They'll return as soon as their house is back in place. See? Some of them have been here already. They left tracks. Caillou was surprised that birds could make prints in the snow. You have visitors, Caillou. They're coming around the side of the house. Caillou was happy to see the twins. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Jason. Make sure you stay in the yard where we can see you. Okay. Look, bird tracks. I can make bigger tracks. <laughs> Let's play follow the leader. Follow me. Ready? Go! <laughs> Look! Caillou was curious about these new tracks. They were smaller than his own, but bigger than the bird prints. Let's follow these tracks. They're gone. Caillou wanted to know where the prints went. They stop here? Let's play snow tag. You're it. <laughs> have made the snow fall like that. A squirrel! <laughs> He's leaving! Look! He made the tracks! Caillou was delighted to have solved the mystery of the vanishing tracks. He wants to play! Wait for us! Jeffrey and Jason were getting tired of trying to keep up with their energetic new friend. Let's make angels. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Look. The squirrel is making angels too. And so Caillou, Jeffrey, and Jason decided to make more angels. <laughs> which were beautiful. Caillou Snow Day. Caillou loved snow. He couldn't wait to go outside to play in it. Look at all the snow! Snow! How about after breakfast, I give you two a ride to the big park on your sled? Yay! too deep and you guys are heavy. I want to help! Whee! Can I play with Andre? Okay. <laughs> Andre was one of Caillou's older friends. It was hard for Caillou to climb up the big snow pile. Look at me. I'm the king of the castle. Uh, look at me. Caillou liked standing at the top all by himself. He could see everywhere in the park. Hello. Caillou, come on over here. Okay. We can make a snow fort. Yeah! Although Caillou was not sure how to build a snow fort, he thought it was a great idea. Let's put yours on top. It'll make our fort higher. 
Caillou wanted to show Andre, he could help too. Wow, careful. Just don't push so hard. Try over there. Wow, yay! There, now we need snowballs. To throw at the bad guys, right? Too? Yeah, you could be the bad guy. Hey, no fair. I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> Time out. We're out of snowballs. Want to make the fort higher? What a nice snow fort. Can we help too? Uh huh. Caillou thought this was the best snow day ever. <laughs> Grandma, we have loads of fun together. Like bird watching with real birds. Grandma's real good at arts and crafts. And we love playing music. I love staying over at Grandma's house. Day, so Caillou and his mommy were taking a walk to go mail some letters. I'll race you to the mailbox. <laughs> hey, you didn't say go. Hi, Andre. Want to race? I can't. I'm going to my gym class. Why doesn't Caillou come too? I could bring him back to your house after. Well, I don't see why not. How about it? Do you want to go? Hi there. This is Caillou. Would you like to join the class? Caillou felt shy. Um, okay. But he still wanted to try. Everybody, this is Caillou. Hi, Caillou! Okay, everyone. We're going to start off with some stretches. So reach your arms up to the ceiling. Mm, I'm touching the sky. Now, stretch to one side, then the other. That's it. And touch your toes. Andre, <laughs> look at me. Now, make big circles with your arms. Caillou was really trying, but it was hard to do the exercises. When I hit this drum, I want you to stomp your feet like this. Ready? Go. Look. One, two, one, two. Caillou tried again. He wanted to show the teacher he could do it. I did it. OK, everyone. It's time to try the next exercise. Leapfrog. <laughs> one person bends down, head tucked in, and the other jumps over. Ribbit. Ribbit, I'm a frog. I'm gonna try. 
Leaping over Andre was not easy. Caillou was a little bit discouraged. <sighs> Try again. This time, Andre, keep your head really tucked in. Go on, Caillou. Rim it, rim it. <laughs> Good class, everyone. See you next time. Thanks for coming, Caillou. Let's play gym class. <laughs> I want to be the gym teacher. <laughs> you can be a frog. Caillou was having fun pretending to be the gym teacher. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Andre, <laughs> it's time to go home. You did it. Caillou was very proud to have completed the leapfrog all by himself. It made him feel confident. Bye, Andre. Why are you wearing the whistle? I'm a gym teacher. <coughs> Our rocket ship. because he and his best friend, Leo, had decided they were going to play rocket ship all day. Are we going to the park now? You bet we are. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Rosie. Bye. Park ahead. Yay! Way to go, Rosie. My rocket ship flies faster than yours. No, mine does. Coming in for a landing. I'm landing too. This is a space station. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing Caillou and Leo having so much fun, Rosie decided she wanted to play too. Ugh. Rosie, no! <sighs> Daddy! I'm sure she didn't mean to. Caillou was very upset. He knew Rosie wanted to help, but she kept undoing everything. Uh, Daddy, Rosie can't play with our space station. Okay, maybe Rosie is too little to help with your space station. Rosie, want to play catch with me? Catch! Okay, let's go. Yay! <laughs> Lots of rocket ships here. Come on, you two. Time to go. Do we have to? It's time for Rosie's nap. Caillou thought it was unfair they had to leave because of Rosie's nap. I want to play with Leo. You can play with Leo at home. We can build another space station at your place. Okay. Come on, Daddy. Hurry. Rosie did not want to have a nap. She wanted to go and play with her big brother, Caillou. Okay, Rosie, nap time. Five, four, three, two, one. Look, Mommy, we flew through the tire. Shh. May I ask that you be a little quieter? Rosie's taking her nap. Stuffs are loud. Caillou hated to have to play quietly just because Rosie was having her nap. They are loud. Hmm. But after blast off, what happens when you're out in space? I don't know. Me neither. Well, if I were in space, I'd put on my spacesuit and go out into space for a spacewalk. Hold on. You forgot to put on your spacesuits. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Let's go! This way! Hmm. What do we have here? We're in space! Okay, you 
to float to planet daddy. I'm returning to base. Okay, space mommy. Hey, what are you two doing? <laughs> We're landing on planet no. daddy. Bet you didn't know there was a tickle monster on planet daddy, did you? <laughs> Daddy, where could that be? Hi, Mr. Hinkle. Hi, boys. You know, I just got a new refrigerator, and it came in this big box. I think it'd make a great spaceship, if you're interested. Wow, a spaceship. Should we make the top here? We need a door. There you go, Caillou. Hmm. What do you say we put the tail fin here? I can do it. Me too. There. Now all we have to do is decorate it. Wow, the rocket ship looks great. Rosie felt she had been left out of all the fun Leo and Caillou were having. She wanted to play with the rocket ship, too. Me, too! Caillou didn't want Rosie scribbling on the rocket ship. He was starting to get annoyed with her. No, Rosie! <laughs> Daddy! Caillou, that isn't a very nice way to treat Rosie. She's just trying to help. She's wrecking the spaceship. Maybe there's a different way Rosie can help. I have an idea how we can make something for the rocket ship that Caillou's going to love. We'll need this. Can we go in it now? Are you finished? Uh-huh. Are you sure? I think it needs a flag. Rosie made it. Thank you, Rosie. Caillou was very impressed by her beautiful flag. And Rosie was Yay! very happy she <laughs> finally got to help with the <laughs> rocket ship. We can put it on top. Great idea. Ta-da! <laughs> I think we're ready for our first flight. Rosie ready, too. <laughs> Caillou, you can sit here, Rosie. Prepare for blast off! <laughs> Seatbelts on. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Rocket! And so Leo, Caillou, <laughs> and their special flag maker, Rosie, blasted off into space. Helps Grandpa. How much longer, Daddy? Caillou was impatient to get to Grandma and Grandpa's house. Today, Caillou, his Daddy, and Grandpa were going skating. We're almost there. Why don't you try to walk in my footprints? Too. Would you look at all this snow? If we're gonna drive to the skating rink, I think we need to clear this driveway first. Well, let's get to work then. How about it, Caillou? Caillou saw how much snow there was. He wanted to help. Good. The more help we have, the faster the work will get done. There are extra shovels in the house. Caillou thought it was hard work to keep up. That's good. Keep going. Uh, Daddy, help! It's stuck! Pull hard. Uh, uh, uh. Ow! Caillou had another idea of how he could help. I'm going to work here. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> hey, here comes some more. <laughs> Watch out! Time out. If we want to get to that skating rink, we better get back to work. I think I'll start on the walkway. What's this? Can I have it, Grandpa? Sure, be my guest. Caillou discovered that the flower pot was very useful to carry snow, and that it was great to build snow castles. Daddy, come see what I made! Look at the castles! Wow! Caillou was proud that his grandpa and daddy liked his castles. They're the biggest castles ever! the lot, Grandma. He sure did a good job. <sighs> what about skating? You should probably head out soon. How about we skate tomorrow, Caillou? Caillou? Caillou was too busy to answer because he heard something outside. Wow! More snow! I can make snow castles again! <sighs> Yard bowlers. Hi, Grandma. Hello, Caillou. Caillou's mommy had just dropped him and Rosie off to spend the afternoon with Grandma and Grandpa. What's that? It's Grandpa's old bowling trophy. He won this prize for being the best player. Yep, I used to be quite the bowler in my day. Come on, I think I still have my bowling ball here somewhere. It was the most unusual ball Caillou had ever seen. Careful, it's heavy. Caillou wondered how anyone could play a game with such a heavy ball. Can you show me how to play? Sure, Caillou, but first we need to get a few things that are more your size. Looks like we've got everything. Caillou was very curious to see how this game would work. Me too! Okay, Rosie. Grandpa will show you how to bowl too. That looks perfect. This'll be our bowling alley. Me too! Come on, Rosie. You can help set up the pins. Like this. See, Rosie? I think we're ready to bowl. Yay! <laughs> My turn. Nice shot. Yay! Caillou thought bowling was a lot of fun. Okay, dear. Now that you're such a good bowler, maybe you can show Rosie how to play while I'm gone. Caillou was proud that Grandpa thought he was good at bowling. Okay, Rosie. Roll the ball over there. Try again. Caillou and Rosie were both getting frustrated. I know. Move closer. as good as new. And here's a couple of special trophies for my champion bowlers. And yours is also for being so good at helping your sister. Caillou felt very proud. Thank you, Grandma. Hello. Hi, Mommy. We played bowling. Mommy, see. Bowling? Who taught you how to do that? Grandpa showed me, and I showed Rosie. <laughs> Caillou's milk run. Cereal 
real, Daddy. Hey there, sleepyhead. Or should I say, sleepy heads? Caillou thought it was funny that everyone was yawning, too. It was catching. Daddy's Diner is now open for breakfast, and we're taking special requests on this fine morning. So, what's it gonna be, young man? Cereal, please. Me, me, me! And for the lovely lady, may I suggest some scrambled <laughs> cocos? <laughs> You're silly, Daddy. And would the little boy get the moo milk from the fridge, s'il vous plaît? I want to pour. Oh, no. Whoops. The only one happy about Caillou's accident was Gilbert. Milk? Sorry, Rosie, but there's no more milk left for your cereal. It's okay, Rosie. We'll make you some eggs. <coughs> or, or how about some toast? With honey. The only thing that Rosie wanted was a bowl of cereal. Caillou felt bad. He didn't mean to spill the milk. Then he remembered where he could get more milk. We can go get more milk at the store. That's a great idea, Caillou. Let's get dressed. Can you pick up some bread while you're at it? I'll get Rosie to eat something else in the meantime. You're walking too fast. Mommy, look! Caillou thought the drawing was even more beautiful now that it was a happy sun. this game with his mommy so much that they decided to play it all the way home. Green light. Red light, mommy. We're home. Caillou was proud to have helped by bringing back some milk. He was looking forward to a good bowl of cereal. Cereal, too. You're still hungry after everything you ate? Ready? Green light. <laughs> Rosie. She's my baby sister, and I love her. We play games together a lot. And we have fun. I get to show her things I like. And sometimes I help take care of her. <laughs> because I'm her big brother. Mommy, can you read me Super Bear? I'm 
sorry, but I can't. Maybe Daddy. Okay. Daddy! Can you read me, Super Bear? Please? Again? Well, I guess the vacuuming can wait a little bit. The Fantastic Adventures of Super Bear. Yay! One day, Super Bear was walking in the park when all of a sudden he saw Bad Bazoo Bear. Stealing apples! That's right. No, I will never give back the apples. Give them back! <laughs> <laughs> then Bad Bazoo tried to run away. Caught you! <laughs> Super Bear never lets him get away. That's right. It's Super Bear to the rescue. Da-da-da! He saves the apples and saves the day. The end. Yay, Super Bear! Read it again, Daddy! Again, again! I'd like to, Caillou, but I have the vacuuming to finish. Caillou liked looking at his favorite book and pretending that he could read the words. Super Bear went to the forest one day, and he met Little Bear. <laughs> Bad Bazoo came and tried to steal apples, and Super Bear and Little Bear caught him. The end. End. Come on, Rosie, let's play Super Bear. Super Bear needs a cape. Me! Super Bear and Little Bear. <laughs> Quick, hide! It's Bad Bazoo! <laughs> Caillou was pretending that Gilbert was Bad Bazoo. find my car keys. If I don't get to the post office soon, it's going to close. Super Bear will find them. Da, da, da. Here they are. Thanks, Caillou. You're my superhero. Me too? <laughs> yes, you do, sweetie. Trip on the subway. Caillou was excited. He was going to his friend Clementine's house to play with her. Okay, bye. Clementine's mommy wants to talk to you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not a problem. I'll drop Rosie off and then drive Caillou over. All right, bye. Can we go to Clementine's now, mommy? As soon as I finish writing my letter, okay? Caillou was disappointed. He didn't like waiting. Caillou! <laughs> See you later, honey. I've got to get going. Are you taking the car? Yes. Can you drop Caillou off at Clementine's? Well, sorry, it's too far out of my way. I'd be late. Can you drop Rosie at Grandma's? Well, yes, but we have to leave right away. Whee! Bye, Bye, Rosie. Who's going to take me to Clementine's house? You and I are going to take the subway to go to Clementine's. What's a subway? The subway is like a train, but it goes in a tunnel under the ground. Caillou had been on a train before, and he liked trains a lot. Hold on to Mommy's hand when we go down the escalator. Okay, Caillou? Okay. Caillou liked the escalator. It did all the moving. All they had to do was just stand there. Ready? Jump! Whoa! <laughs> Can I do 
that too. Can I have some money, please? Okay. Let me see if I can find some. Thank you. It was as though the lady was playing her music just for Caillou. I'm going on the subway. Well then, you're going to need a ticket, aren't you? Look, Mommy! It's stuck! Maybe your ticket can get it unstuck. Bar still stuck? No. Look, I got another ticket. You can keep that ticket as a souvenir, Caillou. Yay! Caillou was so impressed with the turnstile that he wanted to try it again. to go again. <laughs> you need a new ticket each time you go through. <laughs> I'll do it. Here, Mommy. Why don't you hold on to it for me? Okay. Caillou was enjoying himself. He liked this underground train station. Mommy showed Caillou the map of the subway. It showed all the places the train went. Where are we, Mommy? We're here. And that's where we're going. One dot, two dots, three dots. Look, Mommy, little maps. You could take one and keep it, Caillou. Can I take one for Clementine, too? I think that's a great idea. Caillou was impressed with all the presents he was getting at the underground station. We have to stay behind this yellow line until the train comes. Your attention, please. Green line train arriving on platform seven. Caillou thought that the person making the loud announcement must be very tall. Mommy! It's okay, Caillou. That hot wind means the train is coming. Do you hear it? Uh-huh. Caillou found the noise and rush of the incoming train a little frightening. Caillou's fears disappeared when he saw the brightly colored trains. One stop. I want to sit there. Caillou. You have to wait until the train stops before switching seats, sweetie. Look at me, Mommy! Look at me! I'm going backwards! And I'm going sideways! <laughs> Two stops! Caillou thought that the subway was pretty neat. Clementine. Hi. Come on in. <laughs> I can drive you and Caillou back home if you'd like. Mommy, please. I want to go on the subway again. I guess we'll take the subway home. Let's go, Mommy. We just got here. Don't you want to play with Clementine? Oh. <laughs> for you, Clementine. You want to play subway train? Okay. The map shows the dot where we got on the subway. Want to see it? Right there. This way. Caillou liked the subway so much, he wanted to travel on it all the time. Caillou's Race. My turn. Gilbert, you can't play. 
One, two, three. Vroom! 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 Caillou really wanted to win. He thought he should play again so that he would finish first. Hey there, it's my turn. <laughs> Five. Uh-oh, looks like I'm about to finish. Caillou did not want to lose. No, you can go five the other way. Sorry, Caillou, but the rules of the game are to go forward. So, I'm finished. Beep, beep, I won. I wanted to win. You won the last game, and now I won, so it's even. Do you want to play another game? Caillou was upset that he lost the game. He didn't want to play again. Can you play? Maybe Caillou needs a bit of time alone right now. After a while, Caillou thought of a new game. Hi, Teddy. Want to race? <laughs> Me too. First, Caillou needed to set a starting point and a finish line. Go. I want. Caillou knew that Teddy could not run by himself. He decided it would be more fun to race with someone that could. Gilbert! Hey, Caillou, what are you up to? I'm playing with Gilbert. Okay, have fun then. See, Gilbert? We're gonna race over there, okay? One... Two, three, go! You were supposed to race! His race was not turning out the way he planned. <coughs> Who could he play with? Aww. Rosie! Wanna race? Good night! Rosie was too busy to play with Caillou. Caillou! But he wanted to race anyway. There. <laughs> Rosie! Ellie! You have to leave him there. He's the start line. Ready, Rosie? One, two, go! <laughs> Ellie! Caillou couldn't believe that Rosie won the race. Rosie was so cheerful that soon Caillou was in a good mood, too. And he wanted to play again, just for the fun of it. As good as new. Daddy! Sarah's riding her bike. Can we go for a bike ride, too? I don't see why not. It's a great day for biking. Hmm, let's see now. Are the tires full? Yes. Chain oiled? Yep. Are the brakes working? Uh-huh. Mommy, we're going bike riding. That's great. We're going shopping. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye. Have fun. Hi, Caillou. Look at my new bike. Hi, Leo. Caillou was very impressed with Leo's new bike. It has a special flag and streamers, see? Can I have a turn? No, it's my new bike. I'm sure Caillou would let you ride his bike if you asked him. Well, it's time to go now. Bye. Bye. Caillou wished his bike was as nice as Leo's. You know, if we clean our bikes, they'll look good as new. Here you go, Caillou. <laughs> that tickles. Wow, they look brand new, don't you think? Yeah. Leo has a flag and steamers. 
Yes, those are called streamers. Streamers? Hmm. When I was your age, I used to decorate my bike. Would you like to decorate your bike, Caillou? Yes! How about some red yarn? Green, too, okay, Daddy? <laughs> See? Gilbert likes it, too. How about these cards, Daddy? They are perfect, and that will make a perfect flag. Stand back. <laughs> That's funny. Caillou liked decorating the bike. He was having a lot of fun. Yay! The flag! Wow, your bikes look nice. I cleaned mine. I can see that. It's just missing one thing. <laughs> wow. Now Caillou felt proud of his bike. Leo, come see my bike! Can we go for a ride now? Wee! <laughs> I, Robot. Robot? Hi, Sarah. Wow. Show us, Sarah, please. Okay. You use the remote control. It goes forwards, backwards, and it can even pick up a stick. Bye. Gotta go. I wish I had a robot. Eh. Look at me. I'm a robot. Caillou thought playing robot was a good game to play. But something was missing. Hey, Leo, you need a remote control. Okay, robot, go fast. Stop, turn, no this way. Slow, fast. <laughs> it's my turn. Go, robot, go, that way. Oh, hello. What game are you two boys playing now? I'm a robot. Oh, I see. Hmm, what if I gave you a robot disguise? Thanks, Mommy. Can I have that pot, Rosie? The robot, but I want to be the robot too. Caillou and Leo were upset because both wanted to be the robot. But who would use the remote control? Oh, there's two little robots in the house now. Who's got the remote control then? May I have it, please? I wonder what all these buttons do. This one says jump. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, well, I have to go and cook dinner now. Thanks, little robots. Let's see if it works on Mommy Robots. Mommy Robot, Mommy Robot. Mommy Robot, get me a snack. Um, please? <laughs> what does this button do? Wow. wow. You two boys are robots again. Oh, no. The remote doesn't seem to be working. I wonder what happens to the robots if the batteries go dead. The robots stop? That's right. They go slower and freeze right where they are. Oh, what will we do now? Hmm, I'll have to push the restart button right here. Mmm, I mean... Yum, yum. That's me. I'm Caillou. I'm four years old, and there's lots I can do. I can make things with my daddy. 
I know how to make my teddy bear all better. I even read stories to my grandma. But what I'm best at is having fun. <laughs> You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. So tough, except when I've had enough But there's lots of fun stuff I'm Caillou Caillou, Caillou I'm Caillou <laughs> That's me! Caillou and the Tooth Fairy Mommy, Sarah's here! Wee! Look, Caillou! I can go really high. Sarah, look at me. Pass me the shovel, Sarah. Sarah, what are you doing? Look. Why is your tooth all wiggly? My baby teeth are falling out because I'm a big girl now. I'm going to put it under my pillow. Then the Tooth Fairy will come at night and leave me a present. Caillou had never heard of the Tooth Fairy before. It's a magical fairy that comes when you're asleep. She looks under your pillow to see if there's a tooth, and if she finds one, she leaves you presents and sometimes money too. Caillou wished that he had a tooth to leave under his pillow for the Tooth Fairy. Here's your juice, Rosie. Now eat your snack, Caillou. Then we can go outside and play until Mommy and Daddy get home. <laughs> it looks like you just lost a tooth, Caillou. Really? <laughs> I'm missing a tooth, too. This one right here isn't real. It comes out every night. Do you put it under your pillow for the tooth fairy? <laughs> Gosh, no. I don't want the tooth fairy to take this tooth away. Hi, we're home. Mommy, Daddy, I want to get presents from the tooth fairy just like Sarah. You have to wait until you lose one of your teeth before you can get a visit from the Tooth Fairy, sweetie. Can I put Grandpa's tooth under my pillow? <laughs> I'm afraid I need my tooth. And besides, I think the Tooth Fairy would know it was mine. Caillou was discouraged. He really wanted the Tooth Fairy to come and pay him a visit. He thought maybe if he wiggled his teeth enough, they would loosen. Hey, this one's loose. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, look! My tooth is loose! Oh, it seems just fine to me, Caillou. It's not loose at all. Hi, Caillou. Here, I took your shovel home by mistake. Wow, Sarah, your tooth is gone. Uh-huh. Bye. <sighs> Caillou was upset that the Tooth Fairy wasn't going to visit him. Unless... Hey! This looks just like a tooth! Caillou was hoping the Tooth Fairy would mistake the pebble for a tooth and leave him a present. Good night, Caillou. Did you brush your teeth? The Tooth Fairy's gonna come tonight. Hmm? I don't think you can fool the Tooth Fairy. But why don't we leave it here, and maybe she'll come and visit you while you're sleeping. But she probably won't leave you a present. Is that okay? Okay. I want to grow up. I want a cool 
cookie, Mommy. Caillou, cookies aren't for breakfast. Okay. Caillou wished he was tall enough to get his own cookies, but he just couldn't reach the cookie jar. Come on. It's time to get ready for the park. Look, it's Andre. Caillou hadn't seen his friend Andre in a long time. Hi, Caillou. Come play with me. <laughs> Caillou wanted to do all the things Andre was doing. Wow. Uh, whoa! <laughs> it's new. My other bike got too small. Want to try it? Well, okay. You're too small, Caillou. Caillou wished he was big enough to ride Andre's bike. Hi, Caillou. Did you have a good time at the park? I want to be like Andre. How come? He's bigger than me. He can ride a big bike. Caillou, Andre is a little bit older than you. Besides, you've been growing too, you know. I have? Let's take a look. See? You're a whole inch taller than the last time. An inch? How big is an inch? That's quite a lot to grow, Caillou. Caillou is happy that he was bigger than before. Rosie now! We'll measure you too, Rosie. Oh, you've grown too. See, you used to be that big. Now you're up here. And that's Caillou. Big! Caillou was proud to be Rosie's big brother. If you keep growing this fast, Caillou, you'll be as big as Andre in no time. Caillou couldn't wait to be as big as Andre. How can I grow big faster? The only way to grow big and strong is to eat well and get lots of sleep. That night, Caillou ate a lot more than usual. More, Caillou? I thought you didn't like meatloaf. I want to eat lots so I can grow bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Time for dessert, Caillou. Now you can have that cookie you wanted for breakfast. I'm too full. <laughs> Come on, Caillou. You can work off all that food by helping me with the dishes. Hmm. Looks like a problem with the pipes again. I'll look at it in the morning. Caillou thought if he went to bed extra early, he might grow faster. You're getting ready for bed already? It's not even your bedtime yet. I want to get lots of sleep. Look, Caillou. I found an old picture of you. See how small you were then? <laughs> I was little. That's right, Caillou. Now you're a big boy. That night, Caillou dreamed he was big and strong. He could reach the high bar on the jungle gym. And he could ride Andre's bike. Caillou? Caillou, wake up! When Caillou woke up, he was very happy. He was feeling much bigger. What are you doing? I want to see. See what? Daddy, Daddy, am I any bigger? <coughs> I'm afraid you're pretty much the same size as yesterday, Caillou. Caillou was disappointed. He felt like he'd never be as tall as Andre. No one grows overnight. You've got years to get bigger. What are you doing? Fixing the sink. Let's see if it works. Ah! Oh, no! Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> well, looks like it's time to call the plumber. We probably just need to replace that leaky joint. Can I see Daddy? Sorry, Caillou, but this is grown-up work. Caillou decided to do some work of his own on the bathroom sink. Come on, Teddy. Help me fix that leaky joint. We may need your help after all, Caillou, if you aren't too busy. Okay. See? We need to turn off the water for the plumber, but we're too big to fit in there. When the plumber gives the signal, you'll turn it off, okay? Okay. No! No! It's dark in here, Daddy. I'm right here, Caillou. Thanks, Caillou. I could use a little helper like you more often. Caillou was very proud that he helped the plumber fix the sink. <laughs> Aha! I see you, Andre. You win again, Caillou. Your dad never finds you. I'm small enough to fit anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou's Big Chill. It was one of the very first days of spring. The snow was melting, the flowers were growing, and Caillou and his family were outside enjoying it. See? There's a flower poking its nose up to catch a few rays of the sun. Now that all the snow is gone, the flowers can grow. The snow will be gone for a long, long time. Caillou felt a bit sad that all the snow was gone. He loved playing in the snow and he was going to miss it. Gilbert? Hi, Caillou. Look what I found. That's the last of the snow. It will all be melted soon. I wish I could keep it. Well, if you want to keep it frozen, you should put it in the freezer. Caillou thought that was a great idea. No room! I know where! Caillou thought of a perfect place to keep his snow. Sarah brought a pail after pail of snow until the tub was filled with Caillou's very own snow. What do you want to make with it? A snowman! My hands are cold. Uh, mine too. We need mittens. <laughs> there! Now it just needs some eyes and a nose. Hi, kids. Sarah, your mom was just calling you in for lunch. Okay. Bye, Caillou. Have fun with the snow. Snow? Oh. Can I have a carrot, Mommy? Go ahead, honey. Lunch will be a little while. Caillou thought his snowman looked absolutely perfect. After Caillou had lunch, he helped Daddy wash the car. And he helped Mommy with supper. Before he knew it, it was time to get ready for bed. Hey! Where did my snowman go? A snowman? In the bathtub? I wanted to keep it until winter. But it's time for the snow to make room for the grass and flowers. Spring is a lot of fun, too. We can ride bikes and climb trees. I like riding my bike. Caillou would miss the snow, but when he thought about it, there were a lot of things he liked about spring, too. Bye, Mr. Snowman. See you next year. 
Theo's hamster. You're lucky to have a hamster. Yeah, he's a lot of fun to play with. Caillou was very excited. He was going to take care of Leo's hamster for the weekend while Leo was away. That's his food and water. You have to change it every day. Hiya, buddy. Caillou was a bit nervous. He wasn't very familiar with hamsters. And it was a big responsibility. See? You can hold him like this. Does he bite? No, but you have to be very gentle. Buddy can do tricks, too. See? Can I try? Sure. Don't move. <laughs> it tickles. He ate the whole carrot. Nah, he's just hiding it in his cheeks. You can pet him on his tummy, like this. Want to play, buddy? <laughs> Come on, boys. Time for Caillou to bring Buddy home. Leo, be careful with your hamster. He's your pet. He's not a toy. Okay. Caillou is looking forward to bringing Buddy home and taking care of him. Here's a list for your dad, Caillou. Here we go. We have to make sure that Gilbert stays far away from Buddy. We want the room to be safe for him. Let's see what we have here. Leo said I have to check his food and water. Everything looks fine. Can I play with him now? Buddy's sleeping right now, Caillou. You should let him rest for a bit. I'm sure he'll wake up soon, okay? Okay. Caillou watched Buddy very closely. He wanted him to wake up so they could play. Buddy, are you awake? <sighs> Are you still sleeping? Caillou thought Buddy had slept enough, and he really wanted to play with him. Come here, boy. Do you want to play? Caillou wasn't sure what Buddy was doing. He was crawling all over him, and it was making Caillou nervous. Did you take him out of his cage? Yes. We better get to Buddy before Gilbert does. Come on. He ran behind here. I can't see him. We better lock Gilbert up in his cage until we find him. You look for Buddy, okay? I'll be right back. looked and looked everywhere, but there was no sign of Buddy. Any luck? I can't find him. He's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> hmm, not here either. Don't worry, Caillou. He can't be far. We'll find him. Buddy. Mommy, why are you standing on 
on the chair. Me? <laughs> oh, no reason. Where is he, honey? It went under the fridge. Here, buddy. Come out. Keep an eye on him, Caillou. I'll go get his cage. Buddy, come. Caillou wished that Buddy would come out. He wondered what he could do to coax him out from under the fridge. Maybe he'll come if I give him a carrot. Smart thinking, Caillou. He loves carrots. Watch this, Mommy. Here, Buddy. Come and get the yummy carrot. How's it going, Caillou? I think he's coming out. He's out. Okay, let's put him back in the cage now. I'll put him back. Good job, Caillou. Oh, but how did Buddy get out? I only wanted to play with him. Playing with him is fine, but you have to make sure that he goes right back into the cage next time, okay? That's right, sweetie. You're responsible for him, and it's your job to keep him safe. Caillou, what do you say we let Buddy really get some rest now? Okay, Daddy. Okay, Gilbert, you can come out now, but you have to stay quiet because Buddy is resting. Hello, come on in. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Gilbert. Hi, Leo. Buddy ran under the fridge, but I saved him. How did you get him out? With your carrot trick. Three's a crowd. Caillou, we're leaving now. Where are you? Roar, roar! I'm playing dinosaurs. You and Rosie have been inside all day. Let's go out and get some fresh air. Can I bring my dinosaur? Why don't you bring your bucket and shovel instead? Then you can play in the sandbox. Okay. Caillou was happy to see that Leo and Clementine were at the park, too. Hi. Can I help build the sandcastle? Watch it, Caillou. Look what you did. Ah! You broke my bucket. We don't want to play with you. You break everything. Caillou didn't mean to break Clementine's bucket. He felt very badly. Mommy! <laughs> What's the matter, Caillou? Leo and Clementine don't want to play with me. Did you tell them you wanted to play with them? Caillou didn't tell his mommy that he had broken Clementine's bucket. He was sad and angry all at the same time. I don't want to play with them anymore. I don't like them. I want to go home. But we just got here, Caillou. Rosie's awake. Why don't you play for a little while longer, okay? Leo! Clementine! Come play on the slide with me! Leo and Clementine were so busy playing, they didn't even notice Caillou. Caillou didn't find it was as much fun sliding alone. He really wanted his friends to play with him. <laughs> Mommy, can you push me in the swing too? Aren't you a little big for the baby swings, Caillou? Can you push me on the big swings, Mommy? Caillou, I can't push you on the big swings right now. I'm pushing Rosie. Uh, uh. It was no use. Caillou tried and tried. But normally, Mummy or his friends would push him to get started. But there was one thing that Caillou could do by himself. Climb the monkey bars. Mommy! Wow! Oh! Why don't you go and play with Leo and Clementine, Caillou? to play with them anymore because I broke Clementine's bucket. Well, why don't you lend her your bucket? Here, Clementine. You can have my bucket. Thanks. It's a nice bucket. A lot bigger than mine. 
Can I play with you? Sure. Sit over there. You can help me. Caillou knew that Leo and Clementine were once again his best friends in the whole wide world. <laughs> Get well soon. One of Caillou's favorite things to do was play spaceman with his best friend, Leo. decided that Gilbert could help him find the spaceman. Leo didn't hear anything and checked to see if the coast was clear. that he had won, he didn't notice that Leo was hurt. I want my mommy. What's wrong, Leo? My foot hurts. Caillou didn't know what to do. He felt scared. Mommy, Daddy, help! Leo hurt himself! Where does it hurt? foot hurt him so much that he couldn't even stand on it. You'd better take Leo home. His parents may want to have his foot checked at the hospital. Good idea. The hospital? Kaya was worried that his friend might have to go to the hospital. Don't worry, Leo. Everything will be all right. I want my mommy. <laughs> We'll find out soon, Caillou. But first, he needs to have his foot checked at the hospital. Caillou had never been to the hospital. He was very curious about what would happen there. What will happen at the hospital? Well, the doctor will look at Leo's foot and find out what's wrong with it. He might take a special picture called an X-ray to look at Leo's bones. I have to call Leo's parents now. Will you please watch Rosie for me? Okay. Mommy? Yes, Caillou? Will Leo be okay? I'm sure he'll be okay, but he probably won't be running around much for a little while. Caillou hoped Leo would get better fast so they would be able to play Spaceman again soon. <sighs> Maybe that's Daddy calling about Leo. Hello? Uh -huh. All right. See you soon. Bye. Was that Daddy? Yes, it was. And he says Leo is already home from the hospital and is doing fine. Do you think he could come over and play now? I don't think so, Caillou. Leo has a broken toe, so he'll have to stay off his feet for a while. He will? What's the matter, Caillou? Caillou was disappointed that he wasn't going to be able to play with Leo. I want Leo to come over. I want to hear about the hospital and play spaceman. Well, Leo can't come over here, but you can go and visit him. I can? Sure. In fact, he asked Daddy if you could come over and see him later. I bet that would really cheer him up. Caillou couldn't wait to see Leo and had a great idea to cheer him up. I'm going 
going to draw Leo the best picture ever. Caillou wanted to draw something for Leo. But what? A spaceman. Leo loves spacemen. There. Can I see it? That's beautiful, Caillou. Maybe you can also put the finishing touches on the cookies I'm making for Leo. Okay. <laughs> that one's for Leo. Leo can't wait to see you. Me too. I made him a drawing. Can we go now? <laughs> sure we can. Hi, Leo. Caillou! Caillou was happy to see that Leo was okay. A spaceman! Wow! Thanks! Here! Wow! Does your foot hurt? It did at first, but it's okay as long as I don't walk on it. I forgot to tie my shoelaces, and I tripped on them and fell. You went to the hospital? Yeah, and the doctor took a funny picture of my toes. <laughs> you want to play space alien? How? what they love best, playing together. Shadow play. Caillou had his new neighbors, Jeffrey and Jason, over for some hot dogs. At first, the twins seemed more interested in each other. <gasps> Mommy! What's the matter, Caillou? Did you spill some mustard? It was... Caillou didn't know whether it was Jeffrey or Jason who had squirted him. I think Jeffrey knows what happened. That's why he's going to help clean up. Right, Jeffrey? That's enough helping for now, Jeffrey. <laughs> Can we play a game with this flashlight, Mommy? Hi and seek. Good idea, Jeffrey. You kids could go play in the backyard. But not for long. It's going to be Yay! dark soon. <laughs> Caillou decided he would be it because he had the flashlight. One, two, three, four, five. Caillou was excited about playing with his new friends. But when he saw how the shadows had begun creeping into the yard, he felt a bit scared until he remembered his flashlight. Come out, come out, wherever. Hey, you two. You're hiding in a place that Caillou will never come looking. While Jeffrey's mommy explained that playing fair meant the twins had to go back outside, Caillou heard something behind a bush. Huh? Now Caillou started to get really spooked. He faced his backyard again, and with even thicker shadows, it looked like a completely new place to him. Uh, I don't want to play anymore. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, Caillou. I startled you. Mom, is Caillou a scaredy cat? Of course not. In fact, he was pretty brave out here all by himself. It's scary out here. When Mommy turned on the backyard light, all the spooky shadows disappeared. They could even keep on playing a little while. But this time, Mommy would be it. No one will find me here. 
Can I hide with you? Okay. Are you Jason? No, I am. Quick, come in. didn't want to be found just yet. Thanks to the game, he and the twins were becoming fast friends. A new member of the family. No, Gilbert, go away. Look, Rosie, this is you. Baby! Oh, look, and here's one when Gilbert was a kitten. Come and see, Caillou. Caillou loved looking at pictures with Mommy. He remembered when Gilbert was just a little kitten and Daddy had brought him home for the very first time. What is it, Daddy? Go ahead. Look. It's a surprise. It's a kitten! It's a kitten! I got him at the animal shelter. They said his name is Gilbert. I think it suits him perfectly, don't you? Uh, a choo! He ran away! It's okay, Caillou. I think you just frightened him a little. He's still a baby and he needs time to get used to us. Why don't we let him look around a bit while we get some lunch? Okay, Mommy. Is Gilbert scared of me? Oh, I don't think so, Caillou. You two will have plenty of time to get used to each other. Don't worry. I thought this might make a good bed. He can sleep here in the kitchen. Why? If Gilbert is going to be part of our family, he needs his own bed. I'll just grab an old blanket from the basement. Whew, I think somebody needs their diaper checked. I'll be back in a second, Caillou. You finish your lunch, okay? Okay. Caillou remembered to move slowly so that Gilbert wouldn't be afraid of him. Caillou was happy that Gilbert didn't run away this time. He wanted to hold him and pet him so that Gilbert would know that he was his friend. Gilbert, come back! Are you hungry? a mess. Look what Gilbert did, Daddy. We can't allow Gilbert on the table, Caillou. We'll get him his very own little bowl and put it on the floor, okay? <laughs> you better take them both upstairs and clean them up. Can we give Gilbert a bath? Well, cats don't normally like taking baths, but Gilbert certainly needs one now. I want to help! Just as soon as we take Gilbert's flea collar off. We don't want to get it wet. Here, Caillou, why don't you hold Gilbert while I fill up the tub? Caillou was a little nervous to hold Gilbert again. He didn't like it when Gilbert squirmed in his arms. Here. Let's wrap him in this towel. It'll be easier for you to hold him. You see, it's just like holding a baby. Hold on tight, but don't squeeze him too hard. Caillou loved his new kitten very much. Okay, come on, Gilbert. Time to get you cleaned up. Oh! Ah! Daddy! He ran away! Gilbert had escaped again. Caillou didn't understand why he was always running away from him. He's not here, Daddy. Not here either. There he is. Why don't we go real slow, okay, Caillou? We don't want to scare him. Okay, Daddy. Daddy. 
Do you see him? No. He's not in his bed. Caillou, come here. I have an idea. Why are you taking off my shoes, Daddy? Not your shoes, just the laces. Here, now wave it back and forth on the floor, and I bet you it'll get his attention. Caillou didn't understand why he was doing this until... <laughs> I've never met a kitten that could resist a shoelace. Sure is. What's that noise, Daddy? He's purring. That means he's happy. Caillou was glad that he could make Gilbert happy by petting him. He liked it when Gilbert purred. Now all we have to do is put back on his flea collar. Achoo! Hmm, you've been sneezing an awful lot since Gilbert got here. I hope you're not allergic to him. What's allergic? When people are allergic to animals, they can't be around them because they make them sneeze too much and get itchy, watery eyes. This worried Caillou very much. He didn't want to be allergic to Gilbert. Come on, Caillou, let's go see what Mommy thinks. If Caillou was allergic to cats, Mommy and Daddy would have to take Gilbert back to the animal shelter. Mm, no sign of hives. And your eyes aren't watery. Do they itch, Caillou? No, Mommy. Here, Caillou, try holding him for a while. Achoo! I don't want Gilbert to leave. I have an idea. Let's try it without the flea collar on. Caillou was really hoping he wouldn't sneeze. He didn't want to be allergic to his new cat. Well, that's a good sign. Caillou, let Mummy hold Gilbert for a second, and you hold on to this. That's it. Since it was the flea collar that was making Caillou sneeze and not Gilbert, it meant that little kitten could stay. Gilbert has grown up so fast. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Gilbert became a new member of the family. Surprise party! Mommy, Daddy, and Grandpa were out shopping, so Caillou and Rosie were spending a lovely afternoon with Grandma. Come color with me, Grandma. In a minute, Caillou. Just as soon as I finish ironing. Why are you ironing? To make this shirt nice and smooth. I gave it to Grandpa for his birthday last week. I didn't go to his birthday party. Grandpa didn't have a party, Caillou. Caillou couldn't imagine having a birthday without a birthday party. Why not? Grandpa had a bad cold, and he wasn't up to celebrating that day. I want to give him a party today. I think that's a wonderful idea. He'll be very surprised. I want hats and games, pin the tail on the donkey, and a birthday cake. Well, then, we're going to need some supplies. I want to use lots of colors. I think I've got some more crayons in here somewhere. <laughs> I can't see! <laughs> I guess it needs a few adjustments. Grandma, I want to hang the donkey somewhere. find the perfect spot, Caillou. Caillou thought the decorations looked nice, but there was still something missing. We need balloons, Grandma. I think I've got some left from your birthday party. <gasps> Caillou, maybe you have to be a little older to blow up balloons. Caillou was disappointed that he wasn't able to blow up the balloon yet. But then he remembered something fun that he could do. Look what I can do, Grandma. Wow! 
That's a neat trick, Caillou. Can you do another? <gasps> That's okay. You just have to remember to rub a little more gently, like before. There. Is this enough for all of Grandpa's birthdays? <laughs> oh, I don't think we have enough candles for that. How about we just put one candle in the cake for each guest at the party? Caillou could hardly wait for Grandpa to get home, so he and Rosie could yell, Surprise! <laughs> like Grandma had shown them. Surprise! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? Thank you so much. Why didn't you let me in on the secret? It was all Caillou's idea. Caillou's bad dream. Late one night after everyone had gone to bed, Caillou was having a bad dream. <laughs> Mommy! Daddy! What's wrong, Caillou? There, there. <laughs> what did you dream? A scary monster was chasing me. Bad dreams can feel pretty scary sometimes. But it's okay. It's over now, right? Do you feel better now? Yes, Daddy. Good. Let's tuck you back in. <sighs> Good night, Caillou. Good night, Daddy. <gasps> Caillou saw a shape on the wall that looked like a monster. He thought if he hid under his blanket, the monster wouldn't see him. Caillou felt scared being all alone in his room. So he decided to go join Mommy and Daddy in their bed. Daddy, wake up! What, what is it, Caillou? What's wrong? I don't want to sleep in my room. I want to stay here. I know, but you should stay in your own bed like a big boy. But I don't want to. We all need our rest, Caillou. You'll be tired and grumpy tomorrow if you don't get some sleep. Mommy, I want a glass of water. Okay, I'll be right back. Caillou wanted his mommy to stay and read him a story, so he went over to his shelf to pick out a book. Here's your water. Can you read me a bedtime story, Mommy? <sighs> I'm sorry, Caillou, but it's much too late for stories. Just one, please? It's very late. It's time to go to sleep. But I'm not sleepy. <sighs> yes, you are. <sighs> and so am I. See, all of your animals are sleepy, too. Is it Caillou? Gilbert spilled my water. That's okay. See? All gone. Caillou was really trying to fall asleep, but he just couldn't. No matter which way he turned, he didn't feel comfortable. He felt restless. Caillou was sure he would feel better sleeping in Mommy and Daddy's bed. Ooh. Huh? Caillou, what are you doing here? I want to sleep here. I don't like my bed. 
But this bed can't fit all three of us, and your bed is the perfect size for you. And what about Teddy and Gilbert sleeping all alone in your room? They'll be very lonely without you. They can sleep here too. Nope, no room. Come on, Caillou, back to bed. Gilbert and Teddy sure are glad to have you back. Now you can all get some sleep. I don't want to sleep, Daddy. Let's play a game. Look outside, Caillou. What do you see? It's dark. I can't see anything. That's right. Everybody's lights are out because they're all fast asleep in their beds. Even the sun has gone to sleep. You know, when I was a little boy, sometimes I used to have bad dreams too. Really? Yep. And I had a trick that Grandma taught me that could help you too. When I was in bed with my eyes closed, just before falling asleep, I used to think of good things. Some of my favorite things in the world. Like what? Like rainbows and jumping in big piles of leaves. Things like that. What are some of your favorite things? Chocolate cookies? My trucks? <laughs> Those sound perfect. Good night, Caillou. And remember, think of good things, okay? Caillou started to think about all his favorite things, especially his fire truck. The problem was, he was thinking about them so much that he couldn't fall asleep. Caillou decided to get up and play. worried his parents might wake up, so he tried to stop the noise. What's all that noise? Caillou, why are you playing? It's the middle of the night. Caillou was really very tired now, but he still didn't want to sleep in his bed. Sweetie, you just need some sleep. Now lie down and close your eyes and you'll drift off. What if I have another bad dream? Let me see your pillow. How come? There. I flipped your pillow over to the good dream side. Now you're sure to have good dreams. Gilbert's asleep, and Teddy's asleep, and Dinosaur's asleep, and Caillou's asleep. Good night, Caillou. Sweet dreams. Caillou computes. what Daddy was bringing home in the big box. He wondered if maybe there was something special inside the box for him. What is it, Daddy? It's a surprise. Hey, don't I get a hello hug? Is it a toy? Not really. Maybe it's a giant dinosaur egg. <laughs> no, it's not, Daddy. Daddy's being silly. Let's put it in the playroom and go see what's in the box. Caillou was very curious to see what was in the big box. What is it? It's a computer. Caillou was disappointed. He hoped that Daddy had brought a surprise just for him. I'll show you how it works, Caillou, once I get it hooked up. I bought a drawing program just for you. You what? <laughs> it's a cat in the box. Caillou, look! There was a dinosaur in the box after all. See? You can draw on the computer and then print out your drawing. Do I need my crayons? No. Look, you draw by moving this. It's called a mouse. A mouse! Look, Gilbert! Squeak, squeak, squeak! Caillou liked drawing on the computer, but it was tricky at first using a mouse to draw. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert wants the mouse. Squeak, squeak. Why don't I print this up for you and you could color in the rest, okay? We could play again a little later. Caillou was disappointed. 
He wanted to keep playing with the computer, but he also thought that crayons were a lot easier to draw with. No, Gilbert, get down. Honey, where are Rosie's diapers? Caillou wanted to print up another dinosaur so that he could color it in again. He had seen Mommy press a button, and he thought he would try. Uh-oh. Caillou, what happened? I wanted another dinosaur drawing. I broke the computer, Mommy. You didn't break it, sweetie. Look. But from now on, you have to wait for Mommy or Daddy before you can use the computer, okay? Caillou was relieved that he hadn't broken the computer. And he soon discovered <laughs> that playing in the computer box was actually just Look as fun Rosie. as playing We're with the computer. <laughs> that wasn't a very smooth landing, was it? Come on, you two. Dinner's ready. Good night, Mommy. Can I play on the computer tomorrow with you? Of course you can, Caillou. <laughs> Gilbert's afraid of the mouse, Mommy. <laughs> That's because he's a scaredy cat. Caillou's big discovery. Caillou and Leo were playing in the backyard. They were pretending they were dinosaurs. I'm as big as a mountain. Me too. Leo, look, a dinosaur jungle. Roar. Caillou, stay away from my flowers, please. Caillou knew that he wasn't supposed to walk through the garden. But when he played with Leo, he sometimes got carried away. Let's find a dinosaur mountain to climb. We can pile up rocks. Yeah. And then we can climb it. Rock! Here's a rock. Dinosaurs need a whole bunch of rocks. We can pile them up in the sandbox. Caillou and Leo were disappointed. They wanted a bigger pile of rocks to climb. We need bigger rocks. That's a really big rock. Help me, Leo. Boys, you're too close to my tomato plants. You might damage them. Daddy, help! We need this for our dinosaur mountain. A dinosaur mountain, huh? That's a pretty big rock, Caillou. It's stuck! Well, since it's sticking out and someone can trip over it, we may as well move it. Okay, Leo, you grab there. And Caillou, you push here, and I'll pull. Ready? It's out! Yay! We did it! Hey, it looks like we've just dug up something special. A special rock? Yep. Look, that's a fish fossil. What's a fossil? Well, a long, long time ago, a fish got stuck in the mud. And after a long time, the mud turned into rock. How did the fish get stuck in the mud? Maybe a bunch of mud fell on it. This was a real fish? Good work, boys. Finding a fossil is very rare. Can I bring this home with me? No, it's my rock. But I found it. No, I found it. Caillou and Leo were arguing because they both wanted the special rock. But there was only one way they could both have it. You boys are going to have to take turns playing with the rock, okay? Okay. Let's bring it to the sandbox. We've got lots of rocks now. I'm going to climb the dinosaur mountain. I'm going to climb first. 
what was that? It's a big dinosaur coming to climb our mountain. It's raining. We can play in the rain. I bet dinosaurs like rain. Let's bring the rocks inside. But we don't have our special rock. It's too big to carry. Boys, what are you doing bringing rocks inside? You've made a mess. Caillou and Leo realized they had done something wrong. But all they wanted to do was to continue playing dinosaurs. But it's raining and we can't play outside. Well, you can't bring the rocks inside the house. Did Caillou and Leo tell you about the special rock they found? No, but it looks like they found a few special rocks and they brought them all inside. We found a fossil rock, but it's too big to carry. I've got an idea. Why don't we leave the rocks outside so the rain will clean them off? And I can take you and Leo to the library to find some books on fossils, okay? Caillou and Leo were excited about going to the library. They had never gone to the library together before. I'm going to find a book on fossils. I'm going to find a book about dinosaurs. Why don't you both find a book on dinosaur fossils? Dinosaur fossils? I'll find it first. Caillou and Leo looked and looked, but they couldn't find the book they were searching for. Are you boys looking for any special kind of books? Dinosaur fossils. We have lots of books about dinosaurs. Let me show you where they are. Caillou and Leo were very happy looking at books about dinosaurs. This dinosaur is as big as a tree. This one looks scary. Roar! <laughs> Leo, look! A dinosaur fossil. Pretty neat, huh? It's a model of a dinosaur fossil. We found a fossil today. It's a fish that got stuck in the mud. Really? Would you boys like to bring it in sometime? You could put it on display right here next to this model of the dinosaur fossil. Yeah! That's a great idea. Should we bring it in tomorrow? Caillou and Leo were very pleased that their fish fossil was going to be in the library so that lots of other children could see it too. Everyone's gonna see our special rock. We have to make it all shiny and clean. There. Maybe we can find another fossil. A dinosaur fossil. Roar! 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 You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Sorry, Caillou, but the barbecue is too hot. Why don't you go play with Rosie until dinner's ready? <laughs> look, Mommy, look! Oh, no! Ants! <laughs> Yuck! 
Why don't you go see if Grandma needs some help in the kitchen while I make sure there are no more ants around? Okay, Mommy. Grandma, what are you doing? I'm making my special top secret potato salad. Top secret? Shh. <laughs> Shh. You can be my taste tester. Yummy! What a beautiful night. I think I see the evening star. Wow, it's pretty. This reminds me of the time I saw a shooting star. A shooting star? It's a star that flies across the sky like a bird. It's like magic. Well, Caillou, let's get back to work. Come and get it. Yum! Look, a shooting star. Wow! What a beauty. Where? It was just there a second ago. Grandpa, there was a shooting star outside, but it's gone. I'm sure there'll be more. Well, let's go see. Look, Caillou, there goes another one. Where? I want to see. <sighs> Don't feel bad. Shooting stars are very fast and hard to spot. Caillou still wanted to see a shooting star. He decided he would wait as long as he had to. I'm sorry you missed the shooting star, Caillou. Why don't we look at the moon instead? Yay! I want to see the moon! <gasps> the moon is big! You see this group of stars? That's called the Big Bear. I can't see a bear. Oops. Let's see. Where were we? Here we go. And that one's the Little Dipper. See you soon. Look quick, Caillou. Oh, I missed it again. Don't worry, Caillou. There'll be other shooting stars some other night. Caillou wasn't sure he would ever see one. He felt sad. Time for bed, Caillou. It's late. Nighty night. Good night, stars. Wow. wasn't sure if he should be waking Mommy and Daddy up. Gilbert! Good morning, Caillou. Do you want to fly this morning? <laughs> Daddy, make me fly! Wee! Oh, no! The alarm didn't go off. I'm going to be late for work. Caillou, why don't you go downstairs and feed Gilbert? I'll get Rosie up. <laughs> Gilbert, look what you did! Caillou! Mommy's in a hurry, so eat up, okay? Caillou wasn't happy that everyone was in such a rush this morning. <laughs> Daddy, funny! Whoa! Finish your breakfast, Caillou. We're in a hurry. We ate all our breakfast. Great! Could you brush your teeth now? Rosie, wait! Do you want to look like Mommy? Yeah! Go like this. Rosie, don't move. This. Rosie! Caillou!
by you? Did you do this to your sister? Uh, I wanted Rosie to look pretty like you. You know that you're not allowed to play with my makeup. Come on, Rosie, let's get you cleaned up. Go on, get dressed. You and Rosie are going to your playgroup this morning. I don't want to go to playgroup. Caillou! What's taking him so long? Go on and start the car, honey. Uh, Daddy, I'm stuck! Ow! Caillou, Mommy is waiting for you outside. Caillou couldn't keep up with the hustle and bustle and began feeling a little overwhelmed by it all. I don't want to go with Mommy. I want to stay home with you. But I'm going into work later on. I don't want you to go to work. Hang on. I'll be right back. Mommy was told to go on ahead and that Daddy would walk Caillou to playgroup. Yay! Are we going to stay home and play today? No, Caillou. Daddy still has to go to work. But first, let's get you dressed. I have something to show you. What are you going to show me, Daddy? I'm going to show you a whole bunch of people that have to go to work, just like Mommy and me. Good morning, Caillou! Are you working? Sure am. I'm delivering the mail. Would you like to help me? Can I? Here, could you take this letter and put it in Mr. Hinkle's mailbox? You see, Caillou? A mail carrier works every day. Why? To make sure that Mr. Hinkle gets his mail and your dad gets his bills. <laughs> two don't want to come and work with us? Can we? Sure, but not until you're a little older, okay? You have to wait until you're big and strong. It's a tough job keeping the town clean. After all that hard work, how about we get us a snack? Yes! I just have to make a quick stop first. Why do you have to work, Daddy? Because I enjoy working. And I make money doing it. But the machine gives you money. Yes, it does. But first, I have to put it in. I have a muffin, too. Is it a chocolate chip muffin like mine? No. Can you turn on the lights on top? Maybe the officers are busy, Caillou. Not at all. We're on break. Would you like to turn them on, Caillou? Yes. This is Officer Caillou, 10-4. <laughs> okay, Officer Caillou. Time to let them go back to upholding the law. Daddy, I want to be a police officer when I grow up. You can definitely do that, too, Caillou. But first, let's get you to your playgroup, okay? Daddy has to go to work now, just like all the people we saw at work this morning. Okay? Okay. There you are, Caillou. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Martin, I sat in a police car. Really? <laughs> that must have been fun. <laughs> I was showing Caillou people at work. We also saw a mail carrier and a garbage collector. Right, Caillou? But the police officer has the best job. But I think my job is the best in the whole world because I get to play with you. 10-4, Officer Caillou. I can't find him anywhere, Mommy! It 
was time to take Gilbert to the vet for his regular checkup. Gilbert, where are you, you bad cat? But Gilbert was missing. I can't see the box anywhere, honey. Are you sure it's down here? Did you find Gilbert, Caillou? No, Daddy. And I can't find his box. Look what I found. When Gilbert saw his box, he knew that meant he would be going in the car. And Gilbert didn't like going in the car. Gilbert doesn't want to go to the vet. I know, but he has to. He needs a checkup. A checkup? Like when I go to the doctor? Exactly. The veterinarian is Gilbert's doctor. It's okay, Gilbert. I'll look after you. Daddy! Gilbert got out of the box! Okay, don't worry. Everything's under control. I hope. He's not really a bad cat. He's just scared. He doesn't like riding in the car. <sighs> Silly Gilbert. I love riding in the car. Gilbert was back in his box and they were on their way again. By the way, Caillou, just how did Gilbert get out of his box? I just wanted to pet him. That was nice of you, but let's leave him in the box from now on. Okay. Okay. Sarah! Hi, Caillou. What are you doing here? Gilbert is having his checkup. Oli's here to have his teeth cleaned. He has to stay overnight. Did you bring his toothbrush? <laughs> no, silly. He doesn't have a toothbrush. Dr. Orangeville has to clean his teeth for him. <laughs> Good, everything's fine here. And now I have to give Gilbert his shots. Is it going to hurt? Not very much. And it'll make sure he stays healthy for a whole year. How would you like to help me, Caillou? Just pet Gilbert and keep him calm. Don't worry, Gilbert. There, all done. That wasn't so bad now, was it? Gilbert, come back! Oh, no, not again. My new rocket! Wow! <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> We're spacemen! I thought you might be. We're going to the moon! <laughs> Just make sure you come back in time for lunch, okay? I don't want to. The moon's this way. <laughs> Whoa, spacemen, slow down a bit. Rosie really wanted to play with Caillou and Leo. Oh, this is interesting. There's a planetarium opening tomorrow. I think I know a couple of spacemen who'd be interested in that. <laughs> Me too. And look, they're having a contest for the best space costume. A space costume? Hmm. <laughs> Are you playing with Teddy? 
Daddy. No, Rosie. <laughs> I know you want to play with them, sweetie. Tell you what, why don't we find a game we can play? <laughs> we could make space costumes. <laughs> Have you heard the news? They're opening a planetarium. What's that? Well, let's see. It's a kind of movie theater where you can see stars and planets inside. Wow. Can we go? I don't see why not. Would you like to come too? <laughs> I'll call your mom. And there's a contest too. Contest? Yes, for the best space costume. Leo, you look just like a spaceman. And I'm a space monster. <laughs> Caillou, mommy told me you made Rosie cry today. I know you don't always want to play with Rosie, but she is your sister, so you always have to be kind to her. Okay, Daddy. Come on, finish your milk. It's time for bed. <laughs> You've got milk on your lip. What's so funny? Oh, I get it. <laughs> You do look like you've been to the Milky Way. What's the Milky Way? Well, let's see. It's, um, it's the galaxy containing the solar system. It's a place in space where there are millions and millions of stars. Just what I need. What do you want those for? It's a secret. Caillou really wanted to know what Mommy's secret was. What Caillou and his daddy didn't know was that Mommy was making space costumes too. Perfect. Why aren't there stars? Um, I, uh, hmm. Night, night, Daddy. That night, Caillou dreamed all about the stars and the planets and the Milky Way. my costume? I'm gonna win the contest. Welcome to the planetarium, everyone. <gasps> I have a special game for you today. Look, I'm walking on the moon. <laughs> Can you do this? That's great. <laughs> and over here is the Milky Way. <laughs> And now something extra special. Walking on the moon. This is the moon. And here come the moonwalkers. And that's the end of our show. Except for just one more thing. The contest for the best space costume. And the prize goes to... Rosie and Rosie's Mommy!
So that's what Mommy wanted the oven mitts for. Congratulations! You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Except when I've had enough, but there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou, 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 I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me! I'm a pirate! Arr! What are you doing, Pirate Caillou? Looking for treasure! Pirate Caillou didn't know that he was going to find a real treasure that day in a most unexpected place. I can't wait until Caillou's a bit older so I can teach him how to play football. Like I taught you. Hey! Come on, Pirate Caillou. It's time to go home. I don't want to go home. I didn't find the treasure yet. Well, wherever it is, it'll still be there the next time. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm cleaning up. Can I help? Sure. Here, put this in the box. Okay. Oh! Sorry, Mommy can't come to the phone. She's busy. Oh, I thought I told your dad to throw that old thing away. <laughs> He's such a pack rat. What's a pack rat? A pack rat is someone who can't throw anything away. Am I a pack rat, Mommy? Well, you do have a lot of toys in your room that you don't play with anymore. I play with all my toys. Caillou, I really have to finish sorting these books. When Caillou saw the old trunk, he was very curious to see what was inside. Caillou didn't know it, but he had discovered the treasure he was looking for. Wow! A chest full of things his daddy had collected. <laughs> what have you got there? Smile! I'm taking a picture! Click! Wow! <laughs> what have you found now? A whole bunch of stuff! Let me see that. I wore this when your daddy took me to a special dance. I can't believe he kept it. Hey, what are you guys up to? Look, Daddy! Oh, <laughs> my old harmonica! You're such a pack rat. Mommy said I'm a pack rat, too. What have you got there? What is it? I don't believe it. This is my old college football. 
All it needs is a bit of cleaning up and some air. Would you like me to teach you how to play? Yeah! <laughs> I taught him everything he knows about football. Ready, Caillou? Here it comes. Uh. It was a beautiful weekend and Caillou was very excited because he was going camping. Mommy, I need to go. Now. Are you sure you can't wait? What's the matter, Rosie? Uh, mommy gone. <laughs> You're right. And so's Caillou. There you are. Yay! Where's Caillou? <laughs> he needed to make a pit stop. Caillou! I'm finished. Come on, we better get going. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. Um, on second thought. What's the matter, honey? I... I... I think I better go, too. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's a moose crossing sign. There are a lot of moose in the forest, and that tells drivers to watch for them. A moose? Wow! Can I see one? Rosie, too! Hmm, you shouldn't get your hopes up too high, Caillou. Why? Because moose are very shy. Caillou thought it was strange that such a big animal could be shy. Hi, folks. Welcome to Camp Rome. My name's Pierre. What's yours? Caillou. You're going to have lots of adventures here, Caillou. You can play games and go swimming and even climb a mountain. What would you like to do first? I want to see a moose. I'm afraid it's not very likely. Moose stay away from people most of the time. I don't think we've ever seen one in the camp before. What do you say we give them a hand with that? Nice work, Caillou. Are you coming in, Caillou? Wait for me, Mommy. Oh. What's the matter, sweetie? Come on, the water's great. But something's swimming in the water. Those are little fish, Caillou. Don't worry, they're more afraid of you than you are of them. Caillou wasn't so sure that he wanted to swim anymore. Um, it's too deep. It isn't deep at all. It's cold. Don't you want to splash me? Once Caillou got into the water, he wasn't afraid anymore. <laughs> and pretty soon it was time for lunch. Mmm, something smells awfully good. I could eat a horse. Well, I could eat a moose. <laughs> moose, moose. Look. Oh no, a chipmunk! Shoo, shoo! <laughs> we really shouldn't feed the wild animals, Caillou. Why? Because they have to get their food from the forest. What are you two doing this afternoon? We're going mountain climbing. That's it, 
Caillou. Keep going. You're doing great. Uh, whoa! Are you okay? Caillou was frightened when he slipped, but he wanted Daddy to see how brave he was. We're almost there. Look! Oh! We did it! I'm very proud of you. I guess mountain climbing must be hard work. Come on, guys, it's bedtime. Everything's ready in the trailer. I want to stay in the hammock. It would be fun to sleep outside. Okay, then. Caillou loved sleeping in the hammock in his daddy's arms. Night, night. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the, the bed, bed bugs, bugs bite. bite. <laughs> very impressed by the moose. He had never seen such a big animal before. Mommy, Mommy, come and see! Daddy, what? Daddy, look! Oh, wow! Shh! We have to be as quiet as mice, remember? Moose are very shy. It's a moose. Moose! Moose! <laughs> moose gone. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou thought it was funny that such a big animal could be frightened away by a little girl like Rosie. Afternoon, Caillou and Sarah were playing in Sarah's backyard. Sarah, supper time. 28, 29, 30. Yay, I did it! Let me try now. You're too little to jump rope. Show me how, Sarah. It's time for supper, Sarah. Come in and set the table, please. I'll show you how another day. Bye, Caillou. Why don't you have supper with us, Caillou? I'll call your mommy and ask her. Your mom says you can stay, Caillou. Why don't you help Sarah set the table? Just put them in front of each place. What are they? They're chopsticks. You eat with them, like this. Chinese noodles and vegetables. I love noodles, but I don't like vegetables. What's this? It's an egg roll. Don't worry, it's not a vegetable. Oops. Good shot, Caillou. Chopsticks can be a bit tricky at first. Caillou learned that it takes a bit of practice to get the hang of using chopsticks. Oops. Sarah's cat, Ollie, was very happy that Caillou had come for supper. I eat my egg roll with my hands. Maybe you should use your fork now, Caillou. Okay. Eat your bok choy, Sarah. It's good for you. Look, Sarah. Caillou is eating all of his. Bok choy is a vegetable, Caillou. You hate vegetables. Oh. I like Chinese vegetables. Is that a dragon? 
Yes, it's a Chinese dragon. Would you like to try it on? Ooh, you make a very scary dragon, Caillou. <laughs> Green is my favorite. Green is my favorite, too. <laughs> Caillou, what are you doing? I want to try the chopsticks. Oh, you can't eat this with chopsticks. <laughs> it's much too slippery. Wow! Oops! Show me how, Caillou! Caillou was able to show Sarah something new. Mommy were on their way to play ball in the park. What's that? You've heard that before, remember? I know. It's to tell us when it's safe to cross. Excuse me. I'm looking for the dog run. I know where it is. You do? Where? The park is just over there. You can't miss it. Thank you. <laughs> Every time Caillou went to the park, he liked to look at the map and decide which way to go. I want to go this way. Okay. It's okay, don't worry, they won't bite you. You have two dogs? Oh no, I'm a dog walker. That's my job. Caillou thought being a dog walker sounded like a great job. I'm taking these guys to the dog run. It's here. I'm going there. Maybe we'll see you later. Still, guys? Is there anything we can do to help? I don't think so. That was pretty funny, wasn't it? <laughs> Coming through! Huh? His name is Dylan. He can shake hands. Want to try? Hi, Dylan. I'm Caillou. Why don't you throw that for him? He's pretty good at catching balls, too. this honey okay a little farther on Caillou's mommy met an old friend of hers named Barbara and you must be Caillou I like your dog his name is Maxwell hi Maxwell can I play with him you can pet him will he bring my ball back I'm sorry, Caillou, but I can't let him play ball with you. <gasps> Maxwell is a very special dog. 
He has work to do. Work? Yes, he helps me. What does he do? Well, Caillou, I'm blind, and Maxwell is my guide dog. Blind? My friend Barbara can't see. <gasps> so Maxwell's job is to see for me. Caillou was surprised to learn that dogs had jobs to do just like grown-ups. Would you like to see how he helps me? Barbara is blind, remember? That means she can't see you nodding your head. So if you would like to see how Maxwell does his job, you have to tell me. Okay. Yes. Yes, please. This is Maxwell's harness. I hold on to it, and he leads me everywhere. Caillou loved seeing how Maxwell showed Barbara which way to go. What's Maxwell doing now, Caillou? He's sitting. When he sits down, he's telling me it's not safe to walk. Wow. discovered that Maxwell was a smart dog. A very smart dog. sound meant it was safe to cross the street. We can go. But Maxwell knew it wasn't completely safe to cross just yet. Good boy, Maxwell. Good boy, Maxwell. Way to go. You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. So tough, except when I've had enough But there's lots of fun stuff I'm Caillou Caillou, Caillou I'm Caillou <laughs> That's me! Caillou beats the heat It was a hot, hot summer day And Caillou was getting ready to go to the swimming pool He had a hard time getting his water wings on 
But he was sure his flippers would be much easier. Now all Caillou needed was his swim goggles and his cape. What's this? A duck wearing a cape? No, it's me, Caillou. Whoa, better wow. take those flippers off. You might trip. I'm going to wear them on my hands <laughs> instead of my feet. Can we go to the swimming pool, Mommy? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. We can't go to the pool today. Why? Daddy and I have a lot to do around the house. Caillou was sad. He really wanted to go swimming today. Swim! 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 Rosie wants to go swimming, too. Oh, we'll try to go tomorrow, Caillou. But I want to go today. Gilbert's hot, too. He's got no water. Gilbert drinks juice. Mommy, Rosie's throwing her juice. Caillou, don't clean up juice with your beach towel. I just wanted to help. I'm going outside. Don't forget your hat. Oh, and Caillou, don't forget your sunscreen. But it's so sticky. You need it. The sun is very strong today. And it's hot, too. Well, here's something to keep you cool. Thanks, Mommy. Caillou couldn't help laughing at how silly Gilbert looked. <laughs> but he was still sad about not going to the swimming pool. You're hot. And sticky, too. You need a good washing up. And cooling down. <laughs> You set it up, and I'll turn it on. Okay! Nothing's coming out, Mommy! You, <laughs> you tricked me! <laughs> Come on, Caillou. Jump in. <laughs> so Caillou found out that you can have just as much fun in your own backyard. I don't know about Gilbert, though. <laughs> Come on, Gilbert. Jump in. <laughs> Backseat driver. Caillou was looking forward to going to the restaurant for supper. soon. Daddy, I'm hungry! Rosie hungry! I know. Mommy's waiting for us at the restaurant. It won't be long. Ow! Daddy, Rosie broke my car! I'll take a look at it when we arrive. We'll be there soon. with Rosie and he was hungry and hot too. Both of you, please stop. Look, we're moving again. <laughs> Oh, no. 
what now? Daddy, I'm scared. Everything's going to be fine. I'll go take a look. Just great. <laughs> Caillou felt bad that Rosie was scared and wanted to make her feel better. Uh, it's okay, Rosie. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? When are we going to see Mommy? First, we have to wait until the tow truck arrives. It shouldn't be much longer. Where is he taking the car? He's going to tow us to the garage. Okay, folks, we're all set. Are we going to ride up there? No, you're going to ride in the truck with me. Have you ever ridden in a tow truck before? No. It's a lot of fun. You'll see. How's it going back there? Are you going to fix our car? No, I just told him. But you'll meet my dad at the garage. He's the one who fixes him. Your dad? Yep, like it says on the side of the truck. Sullivan and son. I'm the son, Jack Sullivan. Caillou, my daddy doesn't fix cars. Oh, I'm pretty sure that your dad knows how to fix a whole bunch of things. My daddy has a wrench and a hammer in his toolbox, too. Really? And he can't fix a car? <laughs> Can you fix my car? Won't be a problem, son. I'll have her up and running in no time. No, my car. Rosie broke the wheel. Why don't we let Mr. Sullivan do his work? We'll fix your car later, okay? Okay. Daddy, Daddy, I'm hungry! In a minute, Caillou. I have to call Mommy first. I'll get you a snack, Caillou. I want a chocolate bar. Oh, did I press the granola bar button by mistake? I'm sorry, Caillou. I want some! Can I press the button? Make sure you press the right one. After having heard from Daddy, Mommy was happy that everyone was safe and sound. Oh, hello. I'm not used to seeing you dining alone. Where are Caillou and Rosie? They'll be joining me later. They've been held up. Hmm, what do you recommend this evening? Uh, Mr. Sullivan? Down here! All done, Caillou. Your car's all fixed up. Daddy's car is fixed. But mine is still broken. Mr. Sullivan, would you mind if I borrowed a few of your tools? Not at all. Help yourself. Aha. Exactly what I need. Caillou was happy that his daddy was able to fix his car. He loved helping daddy fix things. Was the garage fun? Yes! We got both of our cars fixed. Both cars? My car 
was fixed too. Lost and found. Okay, Caillou, remember what I told you. Keep your eyes on the ball. I got it! That's okay. Just take oh. your time. Hey! Give me my ball! Come back! Daddy, help! He's got my ball! <laughs> gotcha! He has a collar, so he must belong to someone. Well, we've looked a long time, and no one seems to know whose dog this is. He's all alone? He must be lost. He's a scruffy little guy, isn't he? Scruffy? We could call him Scruffy. Oh, could I keep him, Daddy? Please? I'm sorry, Caillou, but this dog probably belongs to someone who misses him very much. Huh? I'll tell you what, though. We can help find his owner. How's that? Okay. Caillou was sad. He wanted to keep the dog all to himself. Hello? Anybody home? Who's this? I found him. His name is Scruffy. He was lost in the park. I thought we could help find his owner. Why don't you two take him outside and clean him up? Time to rinse him off. <laughs> ah, look out! It was time to look for Scruffy's owner, so Daddy decided to take his picture to put on a poster. Smile, Scruffy! <laughs> Perfect. Now we just have to make copies and buy some dog food on our way home. What if no one calls Daddy? Can I keep him? We'll see. Taking care of a dog is a big job. Hello? Yes? Uh-huh. That's him. Great. See you then. That was Scruffy's owner. She saw your poster and is coming over to pick him up. She's been so sad since we lost Rocky. I'm so glad you found him. It was Caillou who found him. Right, Caillou? Do you have a dog? No, but I have a cat. His name is Gilbert. Really? You're lucky. I wanted a cat too, but my dad is allergic. Time to go, sweetie. I'm so happy you found him. Thanks for taking care of Rocky for me. Even though Caillou was sad that Scruffy was leaving, he was very proud that he had helped. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Gilbert! Holiday magic! <laughs> Caillou loved looking at all the Christmas lights in his neighborhood. He was very excited because today he was going to visit Santa. What are you drawing, Caillou? A picture for Santa, so he'll remember what to bring me for Christmas. That's a great idea. What are you going to ask for? Caillou was having a very hard time deciding what to ask Santa to bring him for Christmas. What about a toy car? Caillou finally knew what to ask Santa for. Getting a Christmas tree? Today, right after Dad finishes up his work. He could hardly believe it. Seeing Santa and decorating the tree all in the same day. Caillou, <laughs> we're going to put decorations on the tree, not on you. Where's Daddy? I think he's still on the phone. He'll be out in a minute. I'll go get him. Daddy, hurry! We're going to see Santa! I'll just be a minute, Caillou. You're tracking snow into the house. Caillou was very impatient to see Santa and wanted Daddy to get off the phone. Okay, thank you very much. 
I'll talk to you soon. Come on, Daddy, hurry! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. You know what? I think I better go to the bathroom first. Go fast, Daddy! <laughs> this is a switch. I usually have to wait for you. I'll just be a minute. Caillou, wait for us! He was very excited to go and see Santa. Caillou! Daddy! Caillou was afraid to get on the escalator by himself, and Daddy was already on his way up. It's okay, I'm coming down. Daddy looked very funny walking down the escalator going the wrong way. <laughs> That's the wrong way! You're right. The up escalator is only for going up, but I had to come and get you. Clementine! Bye, Caillou. I'm gonna tell Santa what I want for Christmas. Me too. What do you want? I want a new doll and a jump rope and an oven so I can make my own cakes and cookies. And maybe a new teddy bear or a big fluffy dog. What are you asking for? But that's only one thing. Caillou wasn't sure if he should ask Santa for more. But all he really wanted was this one special thing. Watching Clementine with Santa, he was suddenly a little nervous to go up and ask him for what he wanted. Go on, Caillou. It's your turn. <laughs> What's this? A picture for me? I love getting pictures. Did you write your name on it? Well, then you'd better tell me your name so I don't forget who it's from. Caillou. <laughs> this is a beautiful drawing, Caillou. Why don't you climb up here and tell me more about it? Caillou was very happy that Santa liked his drawing. And he didn't feel shy anymore. <laughs> Why, this looks like a dinosaur. Yes, it's a dinosaur that walks and talks. <gasps> you mean you want a real dinosaur? <laughs> no, a toy dinosaur with batteries. <laughs> Phew! I don't have many real dinosaurs at the North Pole, but I think I just might have the kind that you want. Yeah! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Caillou! Caillou was happy that he had asked Santa for a dinosaur. And who's this? Rosie's my sister. Rosie? That's a beautiful name. And what would you like for Christmas, Rosie? <laughs> Rosie's a little scared, Caillou. I think we better wait until next year. I'm going to bring you something special for Christmas, Rosie. Bye, Caillou. <laughs> Have a merry, merry Christmas. Caillou was proud of being a big boy and not being afraid of Santa anymore. Where are the trees, Daddy? Sorry, I just sold my last Christmas tree to that family over there. Look at my tree, Caillou. We're going home to decorate it. Bye! I want to decorate a Christmas tree, too. I'm sorry, Caillou, but there are none left. There you go, kid. If you come back tomorrow, I promise I'll have the best tree waiting just for you. I won! I won! So, I'll see you folks tomorrow. Merry Christmas! Caillou was very upset. He didn't want to wait for tomorrow. He wanted to decorate the tree today. Mommy, Daddy, look! What on earth? <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> Caillou didn't want to be outside. He wanted to be inside, decorating a Christmas tree. Why can't we get a tree, Daddy? The man said he'd have more trees tomorrow, Caillou. But I want to decorate the tree now. You know what? Maybe we can. Really? Why don't we go inside and get that box of decorations? We're going to decorate us a Christmas tree.
Mommy, can we still have a treat inside? Of course we can, sweetie. Caillou thought he was the luckiest boy in the world. Santa Claus was bringing him a dinosaur. And he was going to have two Christmas trees. Ready? Wow! Caillou thought it was the most beautiful tree he had ever seen. You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Yeah, stupid birds. <laughs> Caillou and Leo were very impressed by the skateboarder. And they really wanted to try his skateboard. My name's Leo. I'm Caillou. Ever been on a skateboard before? No. Just a quick try. I have to go home soon. Uh. Whee! That was cool. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Leo. Bye. There's Clementine. I went on a skateboard all by myself, Clementine. No, you didn't. I saw you. That boy was holding on to you. Clementine, stupid. Yeah, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Caillou and Leo were very excited about what they had seen and done. They didn't realize how much they had hurt Clementine's feelings. <laughs> Look at me, Rosie. I'm cool. <laughs> Stupid cubes. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Rosie, where did you learn that word? That's not a very nice word, Rosie. <sighs> Hello? Yes, hi, how are you? Oh, don't worry, I'll be sure to tell him. Okay, bye. Caillou, Rosie's been saying a word that's not very nice. Do you know the word I mean? Yes, Mommy. And Clementine's mommy just called. She was telling me about your afternoon in the park. Apparently, you and Leah weren't very nice to Clementine. But Leo and I were just playing, Mommy. I don't think that's a very good game to play. You hurt Clementine's feelings. I didn't mean to. I think you owe Clementine an apology. Can I call Clementine, Mommy? It's ringing. Clementine? It's me, Caillou. Sorry about calling you stupid. Caillou had apologized to Clementine, and they were both very happy. And as luck would have it, the skateboarder was there too. That's cool. Hi, Caillou. Hey, Clementine, you want to try? <laughs> Yay! Caillou 
meets Robbie. Caillou was so happy to be in the park on such a beautiful day. Look, Mommy, I'm swinging! Whoa! You're gonna touch the treetops pretty soon. <laughs> Push me! Me too! <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Yay! I'm going to play in the sandbox. Okay. Rosie and I will be right over here. Caillou wanted to play with the boy, but he felt a little shy. Can I play? Caillou didn't understand why the boy was ignoring him. Hello? See what was the matter, okay? That's a pretty big castle. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is Caillou and Rosie. It's nice to meet you, too. This is my son, Robbie. We just moved to the neighborhood. He won't play with me. It's not that, Caillou. Robbie didn't see you come up behind him. He was surprised when you tapped his shoulder because he's deaf. What's Deaf, Mommy? Well, deaf is when your ears don't work and you can't hear like other people can. It's kind of like when you're wearing earmuffs and can't hear that well. Caillou didn't really understand what they meant. All he knew was that he wanted to play. I'm going to make a big hole. Okay, we'll be right over here. Can I use your shovel? Caillou thought that if he spoke louder, maybe Robbie would hear him. Can I use your shovel? Caillou tried to show Robbie what he wanted to do. Stop that! Let go! Mommy! What is it, Caillou? He's not letting me dig my hole. Why don't you try helping Robbie build his castle? I bet it would be really good if you both worked on it together. Here. Caillou and Robbie were starting to have fun playing together. He didn't understand why Robbie was moving his fingers around. He thought it was a game. Are you all right? I fell off the seesaw. <laughs> Caillou didn't hurt himself, but he was very upset. You're okay now. How about an ice pop? Would that make you feel better? Yes! Pink! I want pink! One cherry and one orange, please. Robbie doing? I think he's saying it's cold. Want a treat? <laughs> Can Robbie come over to our house and play? Sure, if it's okay with his mommy. That's a nice idea, Caillou. How about tomorrow afternoon? Great, see you then. It was nice meeting you, Caillou. Bye. Robbie doing with his fingers? That's sign language. Some deaf people use their hands to talk. Cookie! That must be Evelyn. And Robbie! Hi, everyone.
Robbie loves to draw. Do you like drawing pictures, Caillou? That's a rocket ship. I'm going to be a spaceman. I want that one. Caillou felt bad that he had broken Robbie's crayon. He tried to stick it back together, but it didn't work. tried to copy what Robbie was doing, but it was hard. pretending to be cats and birds, that they didn't ever want to stop. Hey, you two. We hate to interrupt, but it's time to go. No, I want Robbie to stay. Don't worry, Caillou. Robbie will come back and visit soon. Or maybe you can come over to our house next. What's he saying? That's the sign for friend. Robbie is saying that you are his friend. You sign the word like this. Robbie! Caillou felt happy that he had made a new friend and proud that he learned how to say it in a whole new way. The piñata! One day, Caillou got up extra early. Caillou, breakfast! He was waiting for the mail because he was expecting a letter from his friend Xavier. Caillou, what are you doing in here? I'm waiting for my letter. And your breakfast is waiting for you. Come on, I mean it. Your letter will come soon enough. Daddy! Finished, Mommy. Finished? Really? Almost finished, Daddy. Caillou wanted to finish his breakfast as quickly as possible so he could get his letter as soon as it arrived. Gilbert! While Caillou was finishing his breakfast, Rosie was picking up his letter. Is my letter here? I'm sorry, Caillou. It'll probably come tomorrow. Caillou was very disappointed not to get Xavier's letter. But just then... Caillou was sure that was his letter. Rosie, give me that! <gasps> what does it say? It's an invitation to Xavier's birthday party. Only it's not just a party, it's a Mexican fiesta. What's that? It's called a piñata. Well, it's a kind of game. It's got a surprise inside. What kind of surprise? Well, if Mommy told you that, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? It's a very nice surprise. Tell me, Mommy. It'll be much more fun to find out when you go to the party, don't you think? <laughs> hey, Caillou. Hi, Leo. Oh, this is fun, isn't it, Caillou? Caillou. These balloons. We'll have some cake later. My mom made me a cake. It's time for the piñata, everybody. There's a big surprise inside the piñata. What is the surprise? Well, if you hit the piñata just right with this stick, it will burst open and you'll find out. Caillou wasn't sure where the piñata was, but he loved playing the game. <laughs> Ow! It was Clementine's turn next. And then Xavier's. <laughs> 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 
This is getting very exciting. The piñata almost broke that time. I can do it. Go, 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 Caillou could hear the sound of the surprise, and then he could see the surprise. The piñata was full to bursting with candy. <laughs> Caillou's Promise. Rosie, don't! <laughs> ah! Mommy! Mommy, I don't want Rosie to play in my sandbox. Okay, you two, that's enough. Caillou, you have to play nicely with your little sister. The sandbox is for both of you. But No buts. I have to go out now, and I want you to promise me that you will let Rosie play with you. Caillou was upset because he didn't think Mommy was being fair. After all, Rosie had started it. Promise? Okay. Bye, honey. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, do me a favor and clean up the kitchen. Promise? I promise. See you later. Well, I'd better get to it. Do you want to help me wash them, Caillou? Gilbert! <laughs> Why don't you let Gilbert outside? Come on, Gilbert. Now that Caillou was alone, he thought it would be a good time to play with his cars. All set. You ready to wash, Caillou? Where'd he go, Rosie? Caillou! Caillou, didn't you want to help me wash the dishes? I'm playing, and I don't want Rosie to play in the sandbox with me. Well, do you remember the promise that you made to Mommy? You have to share the sandbox with Rosie, right? It's very important not to break a promise, Caillou. Why don't we let Rosie play a while, and, and we can do the dishes? Rosie play! Okay, Rosie, you can play for a little while. Caillou was having a lot of fun helping Daddy, even though he was mostly only playing with the bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you need to be dried off, too. There. Now that the job's done, why do you say we go to the park? Yay! Caillou was very happy to be playing with his friends in the sandbox. He was especially happy that Rosie wasn't there to destroy everything. Vroom! 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 Beep! We're going to the circus today. The circus? Yeah. Our mommy's taking us after lunch. Caillou loved going to the circus. He hadn't been to the circus in a very long time. There's a big tent and an elephant. It's huge. Are you going to the circus too? Caillou didn't know if his parents were going to bring him to the circus, but he sure hoped they would. Daddy, can we go to the circus too? What circus, Caillou? Jeffy are going to the circus. They say there's a big tent and an elephant. Elephant! I'm sorry, Caillou. I, I wasn't aware there was a circus in town. But we can't go today. Maybe another day, okay? Can we go tomorrow? When Mommy gets home, I promise to ask her what she thinks about all of us going together, okay? My daddy promised to take me tomorrow. You can come with us today. Caillou thought that was a great idea. Going to the circus with the twins today was much better than having to wait until tomorrow. 
But we have to ask her mommy. Promise? Bye, Caillou. See you later. Caillou was very excited. He was sure he was going to the circus today with Jason and Jeffrey. Caillou, slow down. You're eating too quickly. I have to hurry. This is a real Caillou really. Caillou, please don't talk with your mouth full. I have to hurry. Jason and Jeffrey are coming to get me. They are? They invited me to go to the circus today. Me too. No, Rosie. They're my friends and you're not coming. <laughs> Caillou, that's not very nice. And the boy's mother didn't say anything to me at the park, so I don't think you'll be going with them. But they promised. <laughs> Caillou was very upset. He was sure that the twins would bring him to the circus. He didn't understand why they would promise to take him and then not do it. You're very upset, aren't you, Caillou? They promised, Daddy. <laughs> And I told you that it's very important not to break a promise, didn't I? Well, I think the boys promised something a little too quickly. I think they forgot to ask their mommy first. Why? We all forget sometimes. Besides, they're your friends, and I'm sure they really wanted to bring you with them. But I want to go to the circus. I know you do, and we will. Hi, Caillou. He was disappointed that it wasn't the twins coming to get him. Caillou, why the long face? Did you know that the circus was in town? I saw the big tent they put up on the way home. Caillou knows about it. Did you guys have a nice day? Yes, Caillou helped me with the dishes. And I let Rosie play in the sandbox, just like I promised. I know. Let's go to the circus. Really? Now? Rosie, come on, we're going to the circus! Yay! Caillou was very happy that he was going to the circus and that he didn't have to wait until tomorrow after all. A surprise for Mommy. I want to get Mommy a present, but I just can't think of what she'd like. Can you think of anything, Caillou? No, Daddy. Looks like you need a hand. Hold on to the Rosie Mobile, please. Hi, Caillou. Look at our picture. Can we get one too, Daddy? Perfect. Perfect? Yes, that would make a fantastic present for Mommy. What a great idea. Umbrellas? Yes, they're for the flash. They make the light bounce all around. Why don't we make this photo a surprise for Mommy, okay? Caillou thought that was a very good idea. Okay, Daddy. But that means we have to keep it a secret. Think you can do that? Yes. We mustn't tell Mommy about it at all. We don't want to spoil the surprise, do we? So we zip our lips. Okay? Hi, everybody. I'm Bryce. Okay, now, how about you two give me a great big smile? <laughs> I don't think we got it that time. Let's do another one. Smile, please. Hmm, we need to find a way to make Rosie smile. Caillou thought he knew a way to make Rosie smile. Rosie likes this. Maybe if I stand by the camera and show it to her. Watch the dinosaur, Rosie. Perfect. You can come back here and pick up the photo tomorrow. Let's go you-know-where to pick up you-know-what. Are you two ever going to tell me your big secret? It's a fo- Uh-oh! It's a surprise, Mommy, if we tell- 
tell you, it won't be a surprise. Caillou felt very proud that he had kept the surprise a secret. And I don't suppose you're going to tell me either. <laughs> Why don't you come with us? To you know where? To pick up you know what? <gasps> oh, thank you. I love my present. It was a very good surprise, too. Thank you for keeping it a secret. And now that we don't have to keep it a secret anymore, we can unzip our lips. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. Caillou, can you guess which one goes in front of the birdhouse and which one goes in the back? I know. This is where the birds can come in. Could you hand me that piece of wood? Now, I'm going to glue the floor on before I nail it. See? I'll get it! Hi, Sarah! Hi, Caillou. What's that, Sarah? It's the key to my house and a note from my mom. We're leaving today on our vacation. We're going to take care of Sarah's house while her family is away. Let's see. It's a list of reminders of things to check around Sarah's house. You're leaving? Yeah, I'm going to be gone the whole summer. But I'll be back. Come and see what we're building. Okay, but I can't stay long. Look, Sarah. The birds come in through here. Hi, Sarah. Do you want to help, too? Can we paint it, Daddy? Sure. I'll bring it upstairs. I'll get my paint. I'm making a snake. <laughs> Look. Your snake has chicken pox now. <laughs> Sarah! That was your mom on the phone. You have to go home and finish packing. Caillou didn't want Sarah to leave. He wanted to continue painting the birdhouse with her. Have a great trip, Sarah. Have a wonderful vacation. Bye. Bye, Caillou. I'll see you when I get back. Caillou was already looking forward to when Sarah would come back. Caillou, but Sarah will be gone for a couple of weeks. Why don't you go ahead and finish painting it? Okay. That looks great, Caillou. Sarah helped, too. Well, you two did a great job. I bet she'll be happy to see it when she comes back. I'm leaving to go check on Sarah's house. Would you like to come, too? Yes! this. We'll take it inside the house. I want to do it. All right. Now, let's see. Where's that checklist that Sarah gave me? The house was very quiet, and Caillou thought it was strange to be in Sarah's house when she wasn't there. Ah! Oh, Caillou, it's only mm -hmm. Ollie. Come on, Ollie. Supper time. Only one scoop, Caillou. I'll take care of his water. Ollie ate all his food, Mommy. Let's see. We brought in the mail, fed the cat. Now we have to water the plants. Can I do it? 
And so Caillou toured the house to water the plants with Mommy. We're all done. When is Sari coming home, Daddy? Caillou? It's a postcard for you all the way from China. It's from Sarah. From Sarah? It says, Dear Caillou, I am visiting lots of relatives in China. I'm having a lot of fun. Then it says, I can't wait to show you pictures. Please give a hug to Ollie for me. I miss you all. Love, Sarah. When is Sarah coming back, Daddy? Not for another few weeks, Caillou. Rosie! Rosie! I got a postcard from China! I'll be right back, Caillou. I have two more plants to water. Hi, Ollie. Here's a hug from Sarah. Caillou thought it was taking a very long time for Sarah to come back. He missed her very much. Ready to go? House, Caillou. Want to come and help me? Woozy, too! Why don't we all go? Mommy, the door is open. Ollie, where are you going? Aren't you happy to see me? Sarah! Sarah was finally home. Caillou was very happy to see her. Caillou! Ni hao! What? Ni hao! It means hello in Chinese. Oh, hello. Thank you so much for taking care of everything. We were glad to help. Did you have a nice trip? It was great. Sarah, I have to show you our birdhouse. Come on! Real birds live in it now. Wait, I have something for you. What is it? Here, let me help you. It's a fan. Wow! Bernie! Caillou was very happy to see Sarah again. <laughs> T-shirt trouble. Caillou's mommy had to run some errands, so he was staying with his grandma for the afternoon. Ready to surprise Grandma Caillou? My favorite little visitor. But why are you wearing a jacket on such a warm day? Look, Grandma. Caillou wanted to show you his new shirt. Do you like it? It's wonderful. Blue suits you, Caillou. I'd better be going. See you in a bit. Bye. See, it's got a pocket, too. So it has. Why don't we go inside and celebrate your fancy new t-shirt with a little snack? Okay. We went to a store. I picked it myself from a shelf way up high. Oh, no! That's okay, Caillou. It was an accident. Grandma, my shirt! A little stain remover should do the trick. Let's give it a try. But first, let's go and find you something else to wear. <laughs> I look funny. <laughs> it's a little on the long side, but I think you look very handsome in Grandpa's shirt. Now, let's go tackle that stain. I want to do it. It's still there. I'm sorry, Caillou. I've tried everything, but the stain just won't come out. Caillou was upset. Now that his shirt was stained, he didn't want to wear it anymore. I don't like juice. Here, let's put it in the recycling bin. I have an idea. We could recycle your shirt into something extra special. All we have to do is add some more stains. More? Caillou didn't understand what Grandma meant. 
Then we tie knots like this, and it'll make a pretty pattern. You'll see. Pretty patterns? Uh-huh. Hand me the T-shirt. Now we'll dye it with the grape juice. Why don't you put it in? <laughs> okay. <laughs> When it's dry, you can put it back on. This time, you can surprise Mommy with your extra special shirt. It doesn't look special. Caillou thought his shirt looked very strange. He was beginning to wish he could have his old shirt back again. Caillou, Mommy's here. Here I am. Caillou, your shirt. I got juice on it, so Grandma and me recycled it. See? It's special now. It certainly is. It's the brightest shirt I've ever seen. It's a one-of-a-kind shirt. No one else will have one like it. Caillou thought his shirt looked even better than before. He couldn't wait to go home and show Rosie and Daddy. A helping hand. Caillou was spending the day with Grandma. He was very happy because Grandma was babysitting Caillou's favorite dog, Rover. Rover, fetch! <gasps> Caillou, can you help me put this in the picnic basket? Are we going on a picnic, Grandma? No, but we are going out. Would you like to come and visit some friends of mine today? Can we bring Rover? I always do. My friends love to see Rover. And they'll be even happier to meet you. I speak about you all the time. Caillou had never met Grandma's friends before. Where do your friends live, Grandma? We're going to visit my friends at the retirement home. What's a retirement home? It's a place where elderly people who can't live by themselves can go and be taken care of. You're old, Grandma. How come you don't live there? <laughs> I'm still young enough to look after myself and Grandpa but I like to stop by with some baked goods and help out a bit. It's fun, you'll see. Rover, wait! <laughs> Rover loves coming here. All my friends love him. Hold on tight, Caillou. We don't want him running around, okay? Okay, Grandma. Come on, Rover. I made a sandwich for my friend, Mr. Jenkins, and I baked some cookies for him as well. Cookies? <laughs> Mr. Jenkins isn't the only one who loves my cookies, is he, Caillou? Huh? Rover! Rover, stay still! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Sit! <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> oh, dear! Looks like you're both tangled up. Now, Rover, you be a good dog. Hello. Who might you be? Caillou. And who's that? Grandma and Rover. Hi, Mr. Jenkins. I asked my grandson, Caillou, to bring in your snack while I keep an eye on Rover here. I know he bothers your allergies. Oh, that's silly. Come on in and bring the little feller with you. Is that your dog, Caillou? No, I have a cat. <laughs> well, that looks an awful lot like a dog to me. Well, I'm very glad to meet you, Caillou. Your grandma talks about you all the time. You're very lucky to have such a terrific grandma, Caillou. I bet you love her cookies just as much as I do. Here you go. I don't like to eat a little. <laughs> Gesundheit! Come on, Caillou. We have to take Rover away from Mr. Jenkins now. Goodbye, Caillou. <laughs> Come in. Hello, Mrs. Murphy. How are you today? I'm great. Oh, look, and you brought Rover with you. Come here, puppy. <laughs> Oh, and this must be your grandson, Caillou. It's so nice to finally meet you. I was just playing cards. Do you know how to play, Caillou? Would you like me to teach you a game that I play with my granddaughter? Here, sit down and I'll show you how. 
Caillou, would you like to stay here with Mrs. Murphy while I go visit Mrs. Peterson? Oh, I would love that. We can play cards together. How about it? Caillou felt a little shy with Mrs. Murphy, but he was really curious about her card game. I have a special deck of cards I use when my granddaughter visits. See? They have animals on them. This is called the memory game. You place all the cards face down on the table, and you have to pick two cards that are the same. Here, I'll try first. Now it's your turn, Caillou. You've got it. You're good at this. It's your turn again. Caillou was having a lot of fun. He loved playing cards with Mrs. Murphy. And he was good at it, too. You win! <laughs> I won, Grandma! Congratulations! I'm giving my exercise class now. Would you like to come along, Mrs. Murphy? Maybe another day. I think I'll read for a bit. We'll play again next time, okay, Caillou? Whenever Amy wins, she always gets one of these. Would you like to exercise with us, Caillou? It's fun. It's kind of like a game. You can finish this after. All right, everyone. Let's all take a deep breath and limber up a bit. Okay, now stretch as high as you can. Now shake it loose, everyone. That's it. Shake, shake, shake like a wet dog. <laughs> find Rover. He was upset that he ran away. And now Rover was lost. Rover! Caillou, what's wrong? Are you lost? No, Rover's lost. Don't worry, he can't be very far. Oh, there you are, Caillou. Did you find Rover? I looked everywhere, Grandma. Oh, sweetie, don't be upset. Rover knows his way around this place. He usually ends up somewhere that he's not supposed to be. Rover! I think I know where he is. Mr. Jenkins! Come in. Rover! I told you he was somewhere he wasn't supposed to be. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Jenkins. No harm done. He was scratching at my door. Rover wants more cookies, Grandma. What'd I tell you, Caillou? Everyone loves your grandma's cookies. <laughs> <laughs>